is helped over 35,000 families out of financial hardship by getting them out of bad timeshares, and they may be able to help you too. If you were misled into signing a timeshare agreement, that is a lifetime commitment. If you were told timeshare is a great investment or your maintenance fees will never go up, you need to get the facts about timeshare cancellation. For over 10 years, Wesley Financial Group has been dedicated to helping folks get out of a lifetime of debt by canceling their timeshares. So they created a timeshare exit information kit, which reveals how the timeshare industry works and what your options are for cancellation. Simply call Wesley right now and they will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free. See how you can become timeshare free. Call 800-761-0000. That's 800-761-0000. Again, 800-761-0000. Welcome to the March Mania sales event at Kia of Vacaville. Get ready for an extraordinary showcase of our 2024 vehicle lineup. Experience the latest in cutting-edge technology, innovative features, and the sleek Kia design that defines excellence. During March Mania, we're excited to offer unbeatable lease options on our top models. Step into the future with the all-new Kia Sportage, where captivating design meets exhilarating performance. Explore the remarkable fuel efficiency of the Kia Nero, a hybrid marvel that extends your journey with every mile. Discover the luxury and versatility of the Kia Telluride, seamlessly blending sophistication with practicality. Don't miss our eco-friendly Kia hybrid options, perfect for those who prioritize efficiency without compromising on style. And with the EV9 in stock, Kia of Vacaville is your destination for electric excitement. Visit us today during March Mania and take advantage of exclusive lease deals and special offers. Model availability, lease options, and features may vary. Please visit the Kia of Vacaville for more details. With RT Painting, our name says it all. We are a reliable and trusted commercial and residential painting company serving the Sacramento area since 1998. Employee owned, our attention to detail is second to none. Put our decades of experience serving our community to use for you. Get a free quote today. Call us at 916-900-8112. That's 916-900-8112. Or go online to rtpainting.com. That's rtpainting.com. RT Painting, your trusted and reliable painting contractor of choice. Roll for it. Take your face. The only thing worse than a pitcher running out of gas on the mound is your old phone running out of storage for your photos in the stands. Goodbye, home run! Switch to Verizon and get a great deal on a new iPhone 15 Pro with tons of storage for all the ballpark picks you want. Just trade in your iPhone, any model, in any condition, so you'll feel like you're winning even when your team's not. Trade in any iPhone in any condition for a great deal on iPhone 15 Pro with Unlimited Ultimate and get iPad and Apple Watch SE with eligible service plan, only on Verizon. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention, anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, or other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-906-5382. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-906-5382 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, or other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-906-5382. 800-906-5382. 800-906-5382. Beachhead Deli on 7-Eleven K Street is now your place to go in downtown Sacramento prior to all the games, concerts, and events. Conveniently located just across the street from the arena. Beach Hut Deli features the finest gourmet sandwiches and craft beverages anywhere. Beach Hut Deli at 7-Eleven K Street is also your premier lunch destination seven days a week. Come by and say hi to new owner Brad Wakai. He's so excited to take care of all your taste bud needs. That's Beach Hut Deli at 7-Eleven K Street in Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. KHTKAM Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. Sacramento's official home for the San Francisco 49ers. Touchdown! 
San Francisco! Town Sports. Feeding your passion for local sports in the afternoon. It's the Drive Guys with Kevin Gleason and Kyle Drake on your radio at 11.40 a.m. Streaming audio at SacktownSports.com and the Sacktown Sports app. You can also watch the show on YouTube at Sacktown Sports 1140. Here are the Drive Guys with Kevin Gleason and Kyle Drake. Some crispy. Okay. 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 <laughs> the Iverson. <laughs> Let's go, Sacramento. Yes. <laughs> I love the shooter sleeve. <laughs> That's that D Wade, baby. <laughs> that Iverson. <laughs> Man, I'm amplified, brother. I'm hyped. I'm just about as hyped as you. I'm loving the gear. I'm loving the headband. The headband is cold right there. I see you working, man. You you look like you're about to be on the end of the bench. We might have to have you on a bicycle under the tunnel, like HB. Get you warm. You know, I know uh, you don't. You got pre and post today, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Pre and post. So pre and post. So you'll have a little. You'll have a little action. You'll be able to. Uh, you know, during the game, you can get down there and get under on the bicycle. So man, I, I'm looking forward to seeing you on the bicycle this evening. You know, with your with your gear. Now, do you put the overcoat, the Usher overcoat, on top of the jersey for NBC today, or like how how are you going? How how are you rocking? That's a great question. How because you got to be professional. I get it. I understand it. But ain't nothing wrong with being a homer. I was about to say, do I have to be professional? Do I really, Jay? Do I really have to be professional? I'm thinking about going on the pregame show like this. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing a pregame show like this, big dog. I'm coming. I'm telling you what. They may need to sign me to a 10-day. You know what, Jay? I don't even need a contract. The vibe I'm on right now. That's the kind of vibe I feel. So when I'm on this pregame at 630, I'm going to wear it like this. I'm a rocket like this. I got the okay. Aaron Fox jersey, the headband. This is the kind of attitude and the kind of mindset we got to have here tonight, man. Yeah. It's not about being professionals. It's not about having a good show. It's not. It's about laying the wood to the Dallas Mavericks. This is a playoff type atmosphere. We're going to hear from De'Aaron Fox coming up in just a minute, Jay. But the last 72 hours, 48 hours, if I'm the Sacramento Kings, I've been waiting for this moment. 
I've been waiting for this moment to get back onto the floor. Yeah. And so I know I'm ready. I know you're ready. Hopefully these guys are ready tonight. Look, man, I'm I, I'm with you, bro. I'm about ready to get to the point to where I'm ready to run on the floor with these fellas. I'm Scott Frost tonight. I'm Scott Moe tonight. As you said, Mo. I'm I'm Kay Draper tonight. I'm Katie tonight. I, I I'm Mark Jones. I'm whatever you need me to be. You know, if I if you need me to come off the bench, I'm that guy. You need me to spread some of that Gatorade chewing gum, you know, that old school Gatorade chewing gum we used to jump on. Yeah, yeah. I'm with that too. <laughs> I, I mean I'm I'm ready to go, man. I'm fired up. I know it's a must win in my eye. It's probably uh, the biggest game that I can remember this season. And I know, you know, the next game is always the biggest one, Drapes. But truly, honestly, yeah. if there's any game that I'm really hyped and ready to go for, it's this one tonight, man. I'm ready to go. Yeah, especially we know what's at stake here. Let, let's just call it like it is. You win tonight. You own the tiebreaker against the Dallas Mavericks. Now, if Phoenix loses, I think they believe, I believe they have OKC tonight. If Phoenix loses to OKC and you beat Dallas, then you jump all the way back up into the sixth spot and then you control your own destiny from here on out. And if you're Sacramento, and Darren Fox talked about it at shoot around today, we'll play that for you in a minute. If you're yep. Sacramento, that's all you can ask for. That's, that's how you want to set it up. You want to be in control of your own games. You don't want to have to have help. You don't want to have to back in. You don't want to have to sit back and hope somebody else's lose. That's why tonight is so important. You come out here, you get the win tonight, and then you leapfrog Dallas in the standings. Uh, Phoenix has a very difficult game against OKC. Mind you, OKC still has a lot to play for. And so that's why this is so uh, such a, a big game. Hit us up, 916-339-1140. I want to hear from you guys. How massive is this? Are you excited? Are you ready for tonight's game? You know, what's interesting, Jay, and uh, I want to play the De'Aaron Fox sound. Jay, do we have that yet? Yeah, uh, we got Fox that. Fox sound mm -hmm. from earlier today. Both of De'Aaron Fox spoke at Shoot Around about the magnitude of tonight's game. Here's part of that. Let's go with the first clip, Jay. He was asked about, you know, just how big tonight is, especially after losing the other night. Then we um obviously yeah I mean obviously it's not but um you know you can I think we're I think we're eighth you can win the game and um I don't know if Phoenix plays tonight or not but uh if they don't play tonight which I, like I said I don't know we go straight to six because we'll jump we, I mean we would jump both of them we'd be tied with Dallas but we'd have the tiebreaker uh so I mean it, it, big things can definitely happen but um I mean, we just have to go out and we have to worry about ourselves, fix what we can fix, control what we can control, and, um, you know, we, we, we have a chance to come out with a win. All right, so that's De'Aaron Fox right there. And here's what I like about what De'Aaron Fox said. You know, he's not going to be rah-rah like me. He's not going to be like you, Jay. De'Aaron Fox is a different cat. He's a little different than us. But even he acknowledged knowing what's at stake here today. Even he acknowledged knowing that this is a massive game today. And he didn't say it in, with the same kind of fire and passion. But trust me, everybody in that locker room knows. And I expect, Jay, I not, not just expect, mm -hmm. I demand that the Kings come out with the requisite mindset in their best basketball of the season. Like, I think the 17,000 plus in this building is going to demand it today to come in this building and right from the jump set a tone. We talked about it yesterday, Jay, and I saw one of the uh, assistant coaches' wives uh, at the team store just a few minutes ago. When you walk in this building, this isn't one of 82. You're not high-fiving all the kids. You're not taking pictures with everybody and signing 50 autographs. You're not, you know, playing around with your kids at midcourt and everything an hour before the game. No, you are locked in. You got to be locked in for this one because here's the thing. I guarantee you right now, the Dallas Mavericks, I can see their hotel. I can look right outside Golden One Center and see exactly where Luka Doncic is hanging out right now. Best believe they're not over there smiling and being happy and everything. They're locking in right now. And I think with basketball and any sport, really, especially with a game of, of this magnitude of this size, you don't lock in when you get on the floor and start playing. You don't lock in. When you walk into the building, shoot, you lock in the moment you hop in the car to drive to the arena. Yeah. 
whatever music. Now, you, you're an athlete, Jay. You remember. What was your pregame music you said you listened to with the headphones? Yeah, and everything? absolutely. You know, back in my day, it was Public Enemy. I, I was a big Public Enemy fan. Shut them down. I would play that on loop over and over <laughs> and over. And that's how the Kings got it. That's how the. That's what I'm, I'm saying, you. Jay. That's how the Kings got to be tonight. Like whatever music, if it's DMX in your car, Domas, that you got to listen to driving in, listen to it. Whatever it may be that gets you hype and gets you ready, that's how you got to be tonight, Jay. Yeah, I'm with you, man. I, I I think we're kind of the same when it comes to that. Drapes is, uh, you know, I'm a little more ruckus. I'm a little more bring the yeah. fight to you than you, you know, you allow me. Excuse me, you bring the fight to me. Like I'm not allowing that. I, I I'm going to I'm going right. to be the person that's going to be more in your face than vice versa. But I understand, you know, that's me and you. You know, as you said, De'Aaron is a little more uh, even killed with certain things. De'Aaron is a little more, you know, he, he will approach the, the gunfight with the gun, but sometime he'll just use a knife until you challenge him and okay. he has to bring the gun. And, yes. You know, yeah. and so he, I like what he said. I, I, I truly do. Um, I, I truly believe, and this is for me. I think we really find out a little more about this Kings team then I believe we already know and what we believe. And, I, and let me explain that real quick, Drapes, is this. Mm. I think we have a good understanding through, you know, uh, nine games left of the season, you know, 70, 72, uh, 73 games. I think we kind of know what the Kings are. We know they're a roller coaster ride. We know, you know, they seem to flip-flop win versus loss. We know, you know, sometimes they don't seem to come out with the effort. I'm not accusing them of not having no effort, but it doesn't seem like they meet the eye when it comes to, you know, battle sometimes. But I think today, more than anything we've seen this year, and it's not an excuse for all the 73 games that has already happened, I think today – we will find out about some of the questions that we've asked. Can Domas escalate and take another level? Is Malik our spirit animal? Is De'Aaron going to meet, you know, the, 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 the guy across from him, which would probably be Kyrie on the paper? You know, he's got to meet that expectation. you got to go grasp that greatness. You know, can HB be that steady veteran that we've been asking for this year? Is Alex Lynn going to go body to body? You know, is Keon the defensive uh, guy that we believe he can? Can right. he put his handles on Kyrie and Luca to a certain extent and at least slow them down, be a speed bump? You know, we don't we don't expect for them to be a stop sign, but be a speed bump. And so I think tonight, more than ever, we're going to find out about this version, the 23-24 Kings, and we're going to really see if they about that smoke and about that life. <laughs> Seriously, yes, I'm fired up, man. I'm ready to way. go, Drake. No, are you, you Exactly. I'm fired up, too. We all have Tim McMahon coming up at the bottom of the hour. He's with ESPN. NBA reporter covers the Dallas Mavericks. We'll have Frankie Clicks Cardicelli. Also, later in the show, Jay, you and I were tossing this around. Which player needs to have that LeBron James Game 6 2012 Oof. moment where it can really help define your legacy? Who's the guy that needs to walk into the building and say, hop on my back, boys. I'm delivering the win. We got that coming up. Coming up next, however, it's Drapes Takes, and we have an update on an injury situation regarding the Sacramento Kings. All that and more. It's the Drive Guys here on Sacktown Sports 1140. You never know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. Out of Keegan, going for another triple. Man, is he feeling it. Keegan, can he do it? Yes, there's number 11, Keegan Murray. Keegan steps back. He just knocked down his 12th three-pointer, but Kings franchise record, he's got 45 points. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. What's going on? We're talking to Chad Hoblet of Hoblet Dodd Chrysler Jeep Ram and Woodland. Chad, what's going on for Ram Truck Month? Right now, save up to sixteen thousand five hundred off MSRP on new twenty twenty four Ram twenty five hundred Laramies. One of the nicest, most capable trucks you can buy with the biggest savings of the year. This is huge, and we have over two hundred available. Okay, so why choose Hoblet? We do things a little different here at Hoblet. We're here to help you find the vehicle you need at the best possible price. That's why we don't have a bunch of dealer markups, surprise add-ons, or hidden fees, and We've become California's number one new Ram truck dealer. At Hoblet, you'll get the small town experience with the big city savings and selection. If you're looking for a truck, Hoblet should be your first and only stop. 
See their full selection at hoblitdodge.com. Unbeatable prices, unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet, period. 16,500 total net savings after 10,500 factory rebates and 6,000 dealer discounts. Rebates include 1,000 case construction rebate. Must have purchased qualifying new case equipment from an authorized case dealer and 500 first responder bonus cash. Must be a member of qualifying first responder association. 10 at this net savings to dealer for details. The Drive Guys powering your afternoons Monday through Friday on Satown Sports. Drapes and Jay here with you on Sacktown Sports 1140. It's the Drive Guys. Shout out to Kevin Gleason, Whitey Gleason, not here with us today, tending to a family matter. Everything seems to be all good. Uh, hoping he's back with us on Monday. Should be. He wanted to come today, Jay. He was ready. Oh, yeah. He texted us at 7 a.m. like, yo, I'm ready. Big game. He's <laughs> gonna, but then ultimately he said, I need one more day, guys. One more day. So we'll, we'll hold it down for Whitey, and he'll be back on Monday. But, uh, you know, send a shout out, shouts out to him, man. Yeah, yeah. He was uh, he was definitely fired up. He was, he was ready to go. I'm not sure if he had his headband and his shooting sleeve on. I'm not sure, you know, I, I don't know how. He might have had a little finger tape. I can see Whitey because he plays the guitar. He might have had a little, uh, you know, Kevin Herter finger tape ready to go, but I'm not sure if he – and it'd be interesting. You came you came to the you came to the, to the the gunfight with De'Aaron. I wonder who he'd come through. Ooh. Like, that's a good question, and that might be something we throw out there. 916-339-1140. Hit us up on the text line or, or via call, of course, YouTube. If you come into the gun, if you come into the game tonight and you need to rock a Kings jersey, who's the jersey you rocking? Because it's about the smoke tonight. It is about the smoke. And, and let me peel back the curtain just a little bit. I went to the team store and I was looking at the throwback jersey. Ooh. They had uh, Bobby Jackson. They had Mitch Richmond. I was looking for my guy DC, though. Yeah. Doug Chris. Yeah. They only had one and it wasn't in my size because. I know, and you know Doug as well as I do, that dude is ready for the smoke tonight. Yeah, well, yeah, he, he would get be. out there on the floor and play. He would get out there on the floor and play. Right now. He would be bringing the smoke tonight. Right now. Exactly. And that's the kind of mindset. There's no question about Doug's mindset coming into tonight's game. The dude is going to be ready from a coaching standpoint. And I guarantee you, he wish he could play. We'll get to Drape Stakes coming up in a minute, but uh, let's update the injury situation regarding the Sacramento Kings as they get ready to take on the Dallas Mavericks. Here's what we know right now. Trey Lyles is once again out with that left knee sprain, so no Trey. He was supposed to be reevaluated uh, today, if I was correct, uh, but have not heard from the team regarding him, but Trey Lyles will not play tonight. Sasha Vizankov, is still listed as questionable. He was a full participant in shoot around, but I will say this shoot around is really like a glorified walkthrough, right? You don't get up and down the floor a whole lot, you don't test it that much. It's not like it's five on five. You go through, you know, some of the plays and you break a little bit of a sweat. I would imagine he's a game time decision tonight. As far as Kevin Herter is concerned, Woj uh, put out what we kind of basically already knew. Regarding that left shoulder dislocation, Woj put out uh, a little less than an hour ago that Kevin Herter will undergo season-ending left shoulder surgery to repair a torn labrum. Herter is expected to be fully recovered for the start of the 2024-2025 season. This is a massive blow. I mean, it, it was a long shot that he was going to come back. We kind of knew this, but to actually have some finality to it that he's not coming back, this is, to me, Jay, more of a massive blow than people think. Forget about the numbers. Forget about the points per game. Forget about the three-point shooting. But Kevin Herter out on the floor from a, a threat standpoint, I think is huge for Sacramento. And now, and we saw it the other day against Dallas. They had Luka on um, Harrison Barnes and uh, Kyrie on Keon, Keon. Ellis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, if Kevin Herter's out there, Kyrie's going to have to work. Kyrie's going to have to track him all around the floor, all those dribble handoffs. And so the threat of Kevin Herter sometimes is just as great as the numbers that he puts up. 
and now he's done for the season. To me, Jay, this is a massive loss for Sacramento. Yeah, I think it's something that we already knew. We were kind of staring down the road and, and had an understanding that nine times out of ten, and you know, when you you have a dislocation or a labrum tour, a tear rather, you're not bouncing back within probably, you know, a couple of months. And that at that point, when it happened compared to where we're at now, you know, the season he just didn't have enough calendar days, drapes. I'm with you. I think you know, as much as I'm the proponent of, you know, Malik should start or Keon should be starting. The one there's two or three things you lose with with Kevin Herter, no matter what he does as far as the scoreboard or the box score, as we talk about here on the drive, guys, the spacing, the space, the distance between he puts between him and his defender and, you know, another defender who can't sag off of him. You have to respect his shot. That's that's key. That's something that I think Keon Ellis is still trying to figure out his footing. And if I'm being honest, Drapes. I think the Kings with Keon Ellis, you know, being in the starting lineup is something they're trying to figure out with that, too. The second part for me is no matter what Kevin Herter's done, and I've been a proponent of like, listen, if he's not putting up numbers, send them to the bench. You know what happens, though, is even if he was on the bench, that's bench depth. That is good depth to have. No matter if he's your sixth man, your seventh man, your eighth man, your ninth man, he's going to play. He's going to at least register 15 to 25 minutes. And, you know, that's good quality to have a a shooter like himself come off. And then the third part is just common sense. The one thing he is, is he's a threat. No matter if he's hitting the bucket or not, you still have to respect the fact that he can shoot the three. How many times do we see it every single night where, you know, players are sagging off their opposing opponent? It happens all the time, Drapes. No matter if this dude is shooting 0 for 30, he may hit 1 for 31, and you got to respect the shot. And so it's definitely something that the Kings are going to have to, you know, they, they, they've been living with it, but they're definitely going to have to adjust to it now knowing he has no shot coming back into the lineup. Right. Yeah, that, that's a big blow, you know, psychologically too. And the thing uh, that I hadn't thought about that you just brought up, the depth part of it, Think about it. No Trey Lyles and no Kevin Herter. Mm. Like our bench is really thin from a scoring standpoint right now. We're not as deep as we were, you know, three weeks ago. And hopefully Sasha comes back. But you're right. Even if he was on the bench, that's still another weapon at Mike Brown's disposal that he could use in a game. Now you take that away. So how do you fill that three-point shooting threat? How do you fill that scoring threat? I don't know if you do, Jay. I think you may lose some offensively, but maybe you turn it up defensively if you're the Sacramento Kings with Keon Ellis out there. And, you know, the thing that people don't talk about regarding Kevin Herter, the dude is 6'7". Yeah. Not like he's 6'3 shooter. Like, his length is an issue, too. Like, and and I've talked ad nauseum about how we need more positional length. Well, at the two guard spot of having a six, seven guy like Kevin Herter, I, I, I think that's massive. And now he's out. Hopefully uh, Kevin Herter will be okay. I'm sure he's listening to the drive guys right now, but uh, this is a, a, a big time loss, man. And, and this is a guy that when he's on and when he's at his best is such a massive part of what this team did. We don't win 48 games. We don't get the three seed last year without Kevin Herter. And I know some people want to bury him and uh, you know, if he's not hit, but he, we need that dude to hit shots. We need him to be a part of it to be the best we can be. And mm. unfortunately, we'll have to wait until next season to see Kevin Herter, who still has two years left That's, on his contract. Yeah, Drake, you know what's interesting is, and this is something I think why Kevin Herter has kind of been, you know, in the headlines here around Sacramento locally is just what you said. He hit those shots last year. You know, he showed up in, in majority of the games. Now, he had a he had a quiet spurt later in the season you know, tell him, but he he had decent games in the playoffs. And then there were a lot of games that, you know, he had a 50, 50 playoff. Let me just say that he, he had a good game here and there and he has some bad games here and there as well. But I think that's kind of been part of the complaints and that, and the, in all honesty, that's what we've been missing is when he hits those shots, we can see how deadlier the Kings are as an offense and as a team, you know, and he, he is part of the rhythm that the Kings have been missing this year. Like 
they haven't just, you know, there's been times where they're cooking. It's like, oh, yeah, man, they got the grease going. The fire super hot. They boiling. You know, it's flambasting. It's smoking. And then at certain times, we're like, yeah, y'all slow cooking, man. Y'all crock pot style tonight. You know, it's not a lot going on. And that's part of right, that's right. a lot of that revolves around Kevin Herter. He just hasn't been able to, you know, f- find what he had, you know, for most of the part last year. And so I, I do think the finality of what's going on this year, we don't want to see anybody hurt. Absolutely not. I'd rather you still have the opportunity to go out there and prove that you can turn your season around. Playoffs is a whole different new season, so it would have been an yeah. opportunity for that to happen. But now, there, as you talked about, Trey Lyles, Sasha Vazinkoff, we're looking at you guys now. So when you guys could get healthy and are able to come back into and it sounds like Sasha may be a, you know, a go this week, I mean tonight, but we don't know. Some of that pressure is going on those guys, especially Sasha, because he he's supposed to be, you know, that weapon beyond the arc. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, Jay, let's dry, dive into uh, Drape's takes here on the drive guys on Sacktown Sports 1140. I only got one take here. Really, it's only one take, and it has to do with every individual on this team. Jay mentioned it uh, last segment, whether it's Alex Lynn, whether it's Davion Mitchell, whether it's Keon Ellis, everyone has to be better tonight. Mike Brown got to be better. The coaching staff has to be better. The trainers, the guys that tape the ankles, everybody, hey, the concession stands, the popcorn got to taste a little better tonight. If I'm Sacramento, we are all in this together. The fan base got to be on point. And so for DeMontis Sabonis, three for 10 ain't going to get it done, big fella. I need all-star DeMontis Sabonis tonight. I need all-NBA DeMontis Sabonis tonight. De'Aaron Fox, you got to be the best player on the floor tonight. Kyrie can't outplay you. Luka can't outplay you. You put your statement on this game. And Keegan Murray, you were the number four overall pick. You got to be better. Basically, my take for tonight is everyone has to raise their game another notch to get it done in a must-win against the Dallas Mavericks because this is your season. I don't want the playing. Playing, anything can happen. You could come up short. You could lose. You could get bounced by a Steph or a LeBron or a KD or something like that. Tonight, you have to bring it if you're the Sacramento Kings. And that's all I got, Jay. That's Drape's Take. It's brought to you by Ausco Uniforms. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Ausco Uniforms. Coming up next. We got ESPN NBA reporter Tim McMahon. He's going to jump on with us. We'll preview tonight's game. We'll talk about the injuries. Right now, Luka's listed as questionable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know he's going to play. We'll ask Tim McMahon about it next here on the Drive Guys, Sacktown Sports. We are down to the final 10 games of the NBA's regular season. Each one sharing in its importance, but tonight feels massive as the Kings host the Dallas Mavericks. One dribble only. Hands it off to Fox. Great pass inside, and a twisting reverse is scored by Davion Mitchell. Sacramento looks to take the season series and own the tiebreaker against the Mavs. Tip-off tonight at 7 on your home of the Kings, Sacktown Sports. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. When you roll the Charmin up to South on the party, this is more so roll it back, everybody. Charmin Ultra Soft is irresistibly soft and more absorbent, so you can use less. Enjoy the go with Charmin. Your gas light's on. We need to fill up. Gas around here is too expensive. Don't drive all over searching for the lowest prices. Just download the free Upside app and get cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. I've already made around 200 bucks. You can make that kind of cash back just for buying gas? I'm stopping now to download Upside and fill up my tank. Download the free Upside app to earn real cash back every time you buy gas. Cash out anytime to your bank account, PayPal, or e-gift card. Download the free Upside app now and use promo code GIFT for an extra 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first fill up. That's promo code GIFT. Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close by well-lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region in a safe and friendly environment. Best food, best service, and the best action 
That's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly. 1-800-GAMBLER. Thinking of remodeling your home? Say goodbye to endless internet searches and visit Subcontractors United. Find a list of three pre-qualified and licensed contractors in each home service category. From cabinets to landscapers and everything in between, Subcontractors United makes finding qualified contractors free and easy with no accounts to set up. Visit subcontractorsunited.com and experience the joy of stress-free home improvement. Save time and money at subcontractorsunited.com. Be listening to Sacktown Sports each Friday morning for the Rivercats Weekend Report with team updates and everything you'll want to know about the next exciting Rivercats homestand. Let's go, Rivercats! Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Drapes, Kyle Draper here from Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. You know, there's nothing like getting a massage on my way to work. I know it sounds crazy, but my new ride has seats that massage my back. Leave it to Mercedes-Benz. I've had my new EQS SUV for a few months now, and it's the most gorgeous and sophisticated vehicle I've ever had. I've owned electric cars before, but Mercedes-Benz has set a new standard on how awesome an electric car can be. I never stress about battery charging, and it's got remarkably long range, and it is easy to charge. Now, if you can plug in your hair dryer in the morning. You can plug in this car. It's very simple. And the timing is perfect. It's Mercedes Madness Month at Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. Enjoy up to $19,000 in Mercedes-Benz incentives on select new vehicles, plus a complimentary home charger and two years of prepaid maintenance. And they've got certified pre-owned Mercedes vehicles as low as 1.99% APR for qualified buyers. It's Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. It's just a short 30-minute drive from Sacramento right off I-5 or online at mbfstockton.com. Guys, this month only, Revive Men's Health Sacramento offers qualified patients a free supply of ED medication to kickstart their treatment and enhance intimacy. Book your free T-check exam and consultation today. Call 916-365-4566 or visit revivemenshealth.com. The Tribe Guys, powering your afternoons Monday through Friday on Sacktown Sports. It's bigger than hip-hop, right? It's bigger than it's just one of 82. It's bigger than basketball. This is a statement game tonight for the city of Sacramento, for the Sacramento Kings. Your boy Drapes and Jay holding it down on the Drive Guys here on Sacktown Sports 1140. I'm here at the arena right now. Uh... Nothing happening. Guys just setting up. No players out here yet or anything like that. I do believe the Mavs held a shoot around earlier today as they get ready to take on the Sacramento Kings. Let's bring in our special guest here on the drive, guys, on Sacktown Sports 1140. Tim McMahon of ESPN, NBA reporter, covers the Mavs as well. Tim, thanks so much for jumping on with us, man. How massive of a game is this tonight for both teams, would you say? Well, look, we knew both these games were going to be huge, and obviously the Mavs had a uh, pretty convincing win, a statement win. I'm sure that uh, after that little smackdown in Sacktown, the Kings want to get, uh, you know, want to get a little bit of revenge. But obviously, more than anything, neither one of these teams wants to be in the play-in, and it's going to be a tough path for the Kings out of the play-in if they let the Mavs come in and get another one tonight. So, certainly a high stakes uh, for both teams. I think, especially for the Kings at this point. Yeah, you're right about that. Tim McMahon of ESPN joining us. Tim, when you look at the Mavs and just their transformation, what can you point to? I, I know the trades they made back in February, but are even you surprised at how much it's come together and how good they're playing right now? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I think that uh, I'm certainly surprised. And this is a team that wasn't playing well coming out of the All-Star break. They lost five of the first six games on the break. Uh, they were the worst defense team in the league during that stretch. And then, you know, as far as what what uh, led to the turnaround, I think you have to look at the line change that Jason Kidd made at that point. You know, he plugged Derek Jones Jr. in. That's the best on-ball defender. You know, that's the guy who guards the Aaron Foxes in the league. And uh, they put Gafford in instead of Lively. Lively's done well off the bench. But, you know, since that time, the Mavs are 9-1, and, and, and the one loss was a game that Luka Doncic set out. Tim, you we've been talking about the Mavericks and the different lengths, uh, the type of length they've added to their lineup, and you talked about it a, a lot right there. And, you know, going back, let's just say first or second month into the season compared to now, what really has been the one thing that you can say the Mavs have completely turned it around? 
in this subject? Well, look, they got a lot more athletic, and that was the priority during the offseason. It continued to be the priority of the trade deadline. Uh, you know, Derek Jones Jr. and Dante Exum were really good value signings for them that amped up their athleticism. And they went out and got P.J. Washington and Daniel Gafford at the trade deadline. And look, they gave up, uh, you know, a future pick and a future swap. Those are going, those could be very expensive deals, but there's no doubt they have uh, paid immediate dividends. And the Mavericks can put out big lineups now. They can put out athletic lineups now. And they were always going to be able to put the ball in the hole because they've got two of the, you know, handful of best offense creators in the league playing in the backcourt. Tim McMahon joining us here on The Drive, guys. Tim, when you look back at Tuesday's matchup between these two teams, you know, the the length of the Mavs, uh, I thought, bothered Sacramento. Kings didn't shoot well. Uh, Luka didn't have to do much in the second half, only two points. What stood out to you about the way the Mavs were able to handle Sacramento on Tuesday? Again, I think it's really the defense. And, uh, you know, Joker didn't have a great game against them when they were able to beat the Nuggets. Sabonis obviously didn't have the kind of game that we've seen him have against the Mavericks in the past. Um, I don't want to sit here and tell you that I think that they're going to be able to contain those guys on a constant basis, but certainly encouraging them. You know, like you said, Luka dominated the first half. It's still close. You know, the, the Kings obviously make some adjustments to try to uh, you know, prevent him from continuing to light it up, and Kyrie just took the game over. And that's the danger of facing a team that has two of those type of talents uh, playing next to each other. It, it's hard to keep them both out of a rhythm. Tim McMahon joining us. And, and Tim, well, you know, I, I forget who we had on the other day, but we talked about, you know, the Kyrie Luka dynamic and why it's working. And, you know, at towards the end of last year, the results in terms of wins and losses. Uh, didn't show up, but those two on the floor together seemed to work. Why is it working again this year? What are you noticing about those two guys and how they play off each other? You know, I think the, the biggest thing that's happened is, especially in clutch situations, they're no longer deferring to each other. They're no, you know, it was, there was almost too much respect between them last year. They, they didn't butt heads. They just were afraid to step on each other's toes. And, you know, leads to some hesitance, leads to turnovers when they're passing the ball back and forth to the game on the line, like happened in the loss of the Timberwolves last year. Um, and they've just gotten more comfortable. And then they both, you know, they like Luca has played at a faster pace. And there was always a question of whether he would really do that or if it was just lip service. He has done that. That definitely helps Kyrie. Luca's also worked on being a catch and shoot threat. So if he doesn't have the ball, it's not like he's just, you know, taking the play off. Um, so, you know, th- there have been a lot of factors that the chemistry has never been and in terms of are they getting along? That's never been an issue. I think they've just learned kind of how they can play off each other, how they can enhance each other's games instead of just operating kind of as, as individual stars. Joined by Tim McMahon of ESPN, one of the best to do it. And Tim, before we definitely let you go here in a few minutes, we have to ask you about where you're at right now, which is the OKC Phoenix game, which is huge for us here in Sacramento. But with the news of Kevin Herter being gone for the season, which is something I think many Sacramento Kings fans and probably the team expected, you know, moving forward, what's your take on the Kings in the last nine games and moving into the postseason now that you know Kevin Herter is not going to be a part of it? Well, obviously, with Herter being out, that, that they're going to have to lean heavily on Keon Ellis, and I think he's been really uh, quietly one of the breakout players in the league over the last couple months, a guy going from a two-way to you know really proving that he can be a quality, uh, complimentary role player. So, you know, they're going to need him to keep playing well, but obviously it, this is a Stars league, and it's going to come down to, you know, can De'Aaron Fox be one of the best closers in the league down the stretch of the season? Can – DeMontis Sabonis be a, a, a dominant uh, kind of triple threat, obviously putting up uh, big-time rebounding numbers on a consistent basis, facilitating scoring. Uh, they need those two guys who obviously felt like they had legitimate all-star cases to play like all-stars. Good stuff from Tim McMahon. Tim, uh, we see Malik Monk day in and day out, and, and we think, hands down, he's the front runner for six-man of the year. I'm sure in Dallas, they think a guy like Tim Hardaway Jr. I'm sure in Milwaukee, they think Bobby Portis. What do you make of the six-man of the year race, and, and where does Malik and, and Tim fit in on that? Uh, I think you might be overestimating what people in Dallas think of Tim Hardaway Jr. Um, <laughs> just to be real honest with you, 
Uh, I think Malik Monk's the front runner. I, I, I don't necessarily think that's going to be real close. You know, I know there's been talk in Cleveland helping up Karis the Bird as well. Uh, there are other candidates, but again, I don't think that one's going to be particularly close. I think that's Malik Monk's award this year. Mm, and, and that's from Tim McMahon, who covers love uh, the NBA and the Dallas Mavericks closely. We we love to hear that. Uh, when you look at the West, Tim, uh, how legit uh, do you think the Mavs are as a threat in the West? And and I'll throw Sacramento in that in, in that as well. How much noise can they make come playoff time? Uh, you know, look, I think the Mavericks are more dangerous than the Kings, just because I think that they're they have higher end. Stars, with all due respect, it's a bonus. And uh, and Fox, we've seen Luka take over playoff series before. We've seen Kyrie take over playoff series before. Um, you know, having said that, like, there's not going to be any easy matchups in the first round. Like, none of these teams are teams. Nobody really wants to line up and see the Mavericks, but it's not like, you know, if they finish six or, you know, even seventh or eighth, that, that there's real appealing matchups for them either. So, uh, I think we're going to see a lot of six and seven game series in the Western Conference. Wow. Tim, real quick, I, I want to get to the OKC and Phoenix game before we let you go. We know you're a busy man, but something that struck me right there, and I think this is something we in Sacramento are, you know, we're bludgeoning to get this answer. And it hasn't been, I guess it hasn't been presented yet. But when you say, Luca and Kyrie have done it. What in your mind, as someone, especially in national news media, you know, in the NBA, what is it going to take for De'Aaron and Domas in your mind to get that recognition? That's just what you spoke about with Luca and Kyrie. Look, I think they are recognized as all-star caliber players. They've both been all-stars before, but look, Luca outscored the Phoenix Suns in the first half of the game seven on the road. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when, when, the, when the Suns were the number one seed in the entire league, you know, Kyrie's hit a game seven NBA finals winning shot. Um, they, they've just had significantly higher levels of playoff success. And, and again, look, I understand Luca's only been out of the first round one time. Even in the first round that they, uh, the series they lost the Clippers, though, he put up crazy numbers and he's, he's a perennial MVP candidate. Fox is a phenomenal player. He's not a perennial MVP candidate. There's, there's different levels here. But as far as, you know, increasing the recognition on them, it, that happens in the playoffs. Make a playoff run. And certainly it, it's, you know, it's possible. I'm not telling you it can't happen. I'm just saying it hasn't yet. Tim McMahon of ESPN, we appreciate it. Thanks for jumping on the drive, guys. You can follow Tim on social media, on Twitter, on X at ESPN underscore McMahon. Thanks so much for joining us, Tim. I appreciate it, man. All right, man. Have a good one. Tim McMahon out there covering that massive Phoenix OKC game. He also covers the Dallas Mavericks. A big one tonight for the Sacramento Kings. When we bounce back, we continue to take some phone calls, 916-339-1140, keeping an eye also on the injury report as word has come out that Kevin Herter is done for the season. You're listening to The Drive Guys here on Sacktown Sports, 1140. Tuesday, the Kings got worked by the Dallas Mavericks. Tonight, Sacramento looks for some payback. Pressure against Luke on a double-team blitz. Here's a steal by Fox, a breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. Kings fans elated. Sacramento on top. Join us on Sacktown Sports for the Kings and Mavericks in a big time battle in the Western Conference. Get all the action starting at 7 on Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. Dr. Ken Halachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. 
Welcome Bonneville International Radio Station Contest are open to participants at least 18 years of age and older that are residents of California and who reside in one of the six counties that make up the Sacramento metro area unless otherwise specified. Employees or agents of the station, Bonneville International Corporation, other area radio stations, or any entity associated with the contest are not eligible to win unless the station otherwise specifies in its own discretion. Persons who have won in the last 30 days from a station contest or event may not be eligible for a copy of the general contest rules. Visit KHDK. Sacramento sports fans, get ready to score big with the Sacktown Sports Live Events Calendar. We're bringing you the hottest acts and the biggest concerts all season long. First off, on May 10th, it's a night of laughs as Pete Davidson takes the stage at Hard Rock Live. It's comedy gold and a night you won't want to miss. Visit HardRockHotelSacramento.com for tickets. And June 8th, Live Nation brings NF to the Golden One Center as he lights up the stage with his high-energy performance. Visit LiveNation or Ticketmaster.com to score your tickets today. But wait, the fun doesn't stop there on August 4th. Fourth, don't miss the Outlaw Music Festival at the Toyota Amphitheater, featuring legends like Willie Nelson, Bob Dylan, and John Mellencamp. It's a concert experience that'll rock your world. And looking ahead to August 22nd, get ready to kick up some dust with Creed Fisher at Ace of Spades, presented by Live Nation. Keep the adrenaline pumping, Sacramento. Visit SacktownSports.com for all the details and ticket information. The Sacktown Sports Live Events Calendar, your ultimate guide to the hottest shows and events in town. Stay tuned to Sacktown Sports for exclusive updates and your chance to win tickets. Hey, it's Carmichael Day for my good friends at American Energy. Now, I've told you this before, but this is what we call extending a good deal right now. American Energy Heat and Air is offering an HVAC diagnostic for $99. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Never mind. They're offering it free. It's a $99 value, but you get it for zero. Let the American Energy team test your system connections and all the moving parts of that system to ensure that it's functioning properly. Now, this is a limited time offer. Expires March 31st. Call today to schedule your appointment at 916-520-9990. Speak to the company that has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau that's been making the greater Sacramento area proud since 1981. 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. Tell them Carmichael Dave sent you. Call 916-520-9990 Toyota's Ready, Set, Go sales event is on. Explore California this season with Toyota's legendary reliability. Take on spring with incredible fuel efficiency and more peace of mind. Right now, get low 3.99% APR financing on 2024 Highlander. Or check out great lease deals on the stylish 2024 Camry, Sporty Corolla, and Dynamic RAV4. Hurry in. Toyota's Ready, Set, Go sales event ends soon. Toyota, let's go places. Offer available through TFS to buyers with premium rated credit. Excludes hybrids, ends 4124. I just can't control my feet. Coming to the venue at Thunder Valley, March 30th, World One presents The Jacksons with Sister Sledge. Tickets available now at the Thunder Valley box office, Ticketmaster.com, and World One Presents.com. Kyrie Irving and the Pesky Mavericks. Shout out to Tim McMahon of ESPN jumping on with us. Last segment, a lot of good information. You know, Jay, we have these guests on, and I understand. Derek Harper, Mavericks analyst, Tim McMahon, ESPN reporter, but his main beat is, you know, the Mavs division and, and the Mavericks. Midwest, yeah. Midwest. They come on disrespecting the Kings, though. And, and I don't think they do it intentionally. They do it unconsciously. Here's what I mean. I asked Tim McMahon about the teams making noise in the playoffs. And maybe this is just his opinion, so, uh, you know, he got to be honest with it. But he's like, oh, yeah, Dallas definitely, uh, you know, can, can make more noise than Sacramento, basically, because of their two stars. They, they, you know, they have two bigger stars. And then he just mentioned that Luca's only advanced out of the first round once. Yeah. 
And so while Luka is amazing, Kyrie's amazing, I believe it's all about the matchup. Because if Dallas plays Denver first round, they get bounced. If the Kings play Denver, I think they're getting bounced. But if we take on OKC, if we play Minnesota, we have a shot. If we play the Clippers, especially the way the Clippers are playing out, we have a shot. And to Tim's point, and this is the thing, no matter what happens during the first 82, the Kings are going to have to earn their respect in the playoffs. And in our eyes, the playoffs have already started. Like tonight, you need to... Like, that's why, and and you said it the other day, that's why Tuesday's game was so important. You're on national TV. You got the whole world watching, and you lay an egg like that. And so, so many times we talk about, why are our guys being disrespected? You got to earn respect. Yeah. And I think tonight is a step in that right direction. You earn respect by putting it on Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. Yeah, I agree. You earn respect. This is an NBA TV game, too. This will be on NBC Sports California, also right here, Sacktown Sports 1140 with the G-Man, of course. But this is a game where everybody understands the standings, where you guys are at, tiebreakers and all that. And we're going to talk about this in the 4 o'clock hour. This is a game where De'Aaron Fox has to be the best player. This is a game where DeMontis Sabonis has to be the best big on the floor, right? Like, he can't be outplayed by Gafford and Lively and PJ. Like, no, this is a game. Our stars got to be stars, Jay. Yeah. I And, then, you know, I, I kind of felt the same way with that, Drapes, and that's why I followed up your question with what does the Kings have to do? Like, what do Domas and De'Aaron – and Malik, and he he gave, unlike most of the national media that we've had on so far, like even Jared Greenberg of uh, the NBA on TNT and NBA TV, you know, he he threw a few names out there for the six men. I think Tim was very forthcoming in the fact of, like, it really is Malik's award to probably lose. Now, look, we understand just because we want it to be doesn't mean it's going to happen here in Sacramento. We've seen that story again, you know, over and over, but – um, one too many times, but I will say this, I'm with you, man. And it, it comes to a point where you have to go get your respect. You have to go take your respect. Right. You have to go grasp your respect compared to just waiting for someone to say, you know what? I like how you do it. I like how you guys play, you know, you've earned my respect. I think sometimes, you know, and you talked about Doug Christie early, earlier in the show. This is something I know he's always talked about. We've had, numerous conversations off air about this is when the Kings start winning, no matter if you respect us or not, you're going to have to take us seriously. And I think yeah, that's a point, you know, we we're at the road, we're at the fork of the road drapes where we, the Kings have played at a high level. They took the warriors who were defending champs at that time to seven games. We had awards coach GM, all right. NBA team guys. And so that's cool. But I think some of it is the NBA is looking at the swan song. Well, what else is there? What's the repeat of this? And mm. the Kings have kind of been up and down. And I think some people, before they go out and say, you know what? They're a great team. I think people are like, yeah, they're good, but I still need to see something else. Like yeah. I haven't seen a finished product and we won't see that until, you know, seasons down the road. But I want to see that you guys are going to be perennial playoff contenders. I want to see that you guys are going to be in the postseason. And albeit, Tim McMahon said it, you brought it back. You know, Luka hasn't done much beside the Western Conference Finals run against the Warriors in which they lost. But he's he's, a great run. Yeah, yeah, he's perennial, perennially in the playoffs, though, ever since he's been in the league. Right. And that's where, you know, no disrespect to De'Aaron. It took him five five years, right? This is year six. I'm like, yeah. It took him six years to get to the playoffs. Yeah. Right? Or is it five? Well, no, I'm, I'm right. miscalculating. Yeah. So No, it, he in year seven seven, now, right? seven, right? Yeah. So it took him six yeah. years to get to the postseason. And so I think yep. that's part of it is I want to see you build on it. And 
what we've been arguing here in Sacramento drapes, if I, if I, I think I have a, a good beat on it is being third last year, put the Kings in a, in the form of, I hope they're not a one hit wonder. And I think they've shown they're not, but because the West has got better around them, they're fighting for their playoff, I guess, you know, lives. But I think once they hit the playoff and all the dust is settled, you know, the, the dust is settled. I think people will be like, yeah. okay, that's two years in a row. All right. Right. And I think most national media don't expect the Kings to make a Western conference run, but if they get to the second round, like we heard a couple of people on our air saying, I, I can see them getting to the second round. You know, Jared Greenberg yep. said it like yep. I could see them making a, a, yep. a round or two run. And then I think that's where the respect comes drapes for me. Yeah, you're right. And, and Jared said, you know, if, if you're Sacramento, you don't want to be the Atlanta Hawks. Right. You know, that, that they had one great year and you thought you were on the correct path, the right path. And Atlanta has been trying to get back ever since. And so uh, I think go, tonight. You know, for my psychology, for my mentals, I need to see the right effort tonight. I Man. need to see, you know, I need to see these boys locked in tonight. I, I need to see Keon all up in Kyrie's jock. I need to see Keegan Murray frustrating Luca. Like, I want Luca whining and crying to the refs so much because he's not getting the calls that he thinks he should get. And so that's the kind of game I want to see from the Sacramento Kings. Hit us up. 916-339-1140. Let's jump on the phone lines. Let's start with 10. 10, what's up, man? You're on with Drapes and Jay here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Hey, thanks for taking my call. I think tonight's game should be televised if the last one was. Tonight definitely has more playoff implications. No, you're right, 10. I mean, to, tonight is the bigger game. No doubt about it. But it is televised, big fella, on NBC Sports California on NBA TV, right here on Sacktown Sports 1140. And so uh, Mark Jones will be on the call with Katie Christensen. Uh, G-Man will be holding it down on the radio side. So at least tonight we hear our local voices, which we didn't hear on Tuesday night. Yeah, and NBA TV, which I love you put out there. It's um, This is a huge game. But Tuesdays was a huge game, and that's why the NBA yeah. chose to put that there. You know, unfortunately, no one, I, I don't think, it, it probably looks this way, but I don't think any team is back-to-back -back national televised games. Like, even the Lakers not getting um, three in the same week. It doesn't work that way. Right, you know? right, right. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Jay, let's sneak in Emmy. Is Emmy still on hold? Let's sneak in Emmy here on the drive, guys. Yeah. Emmy, you're on with Drapes and Jay. Hey, guys. Ray, thank you so much hey. for making my day. This grammy weather here is making bad. But thanks for the news that Sasha is game time this season. I'm so, so happy. You guys made my day with that. And also, <laughs> go Kings. Also, All right, Emmy, thanks so much. Well, she gets minutes tonight. I hope so, too, Emmy. Thanks for the call. Sasha is a big part of what the Kings can achieve going forward, especially with Kevin Herter not playing the rest of the season. Out for the, we need more shooting off the bench, and Sasha can provide that. Coming up in just a minute, we're going to switch gears. We're going to talk about what transpired at the Coliseum last night. The Oakland A's, their season opener, home opener, they say they had 13000 and change inside the building. I, I don't believe Frankie it. Cardicelli <laughs> at 3.30 about that. We'll dive into the reverse boycott in baseball coming up next here. It's Drapes and Jay, the Drive Guys on Sacktown Sports 1140. At L.L. Floyd, we've been a trusted partner to pros for over 30 years. With over 400 nationwide warehouses full of in-stock, job-ready inventory, you'll get what you need. And our exclusive pro pricing means that pros never pay retail. Because at LL Flooring, all we do is floors. So we're going to do it right. Sign up for a free pro account today to start getting pro benefits. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention, anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, or other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-906-5382. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you the maximum protection 
protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-906-5382 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, or other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-906-5382. 800-906-5382. 800-906-5382. Rivercats fans, it's time to celebrate our 25th anniversary in Sacramento. Regular season baseball returns to Sutter Health Park on Friday, March 29th. The opening weekend festivities include a live DJ and happy hour in Elysian Landing on Smud Orange Friday, Sandlot Night on Sutter Health Fireworks Saturday, and Easter at the Ballpark on Sunday Fun Day. To view the complete 2024 schedule and to purchase tickets, visit rivercats.com. We'll see you there. Beachhead Deli on 711 K Street is now your place to go in downtown Sacramento prior to all the games, concerts, and events. Conveniently located just across the street from the arena, Beachhead Deli features the finest gourmet sandwiches and craft beverages anywhere. Beachhead Deli at 711 K Street is also your premier lunch destination seven days a week. Come by and say hi to new owner Brad Wakai. He's so excited to take care of all your taste bud needs. That's Beachhead Deli at 711 K Street in Sacramento. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fitty and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. The weather's warming up, spring is here, and so is road trip season. And if you're saying, yeah, sure, I would love to load everything up in my car and hit the road and go on a long road trip, but I don't trust my car. It's not dependable. Well, then go see my friends at Elk Grove Kia. They'll get you into something dependable and super affordable, like a brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS for $19,988. Yep, at a time when the average new car price is over $48,000, Elk Grove Kia can get you into a brand new car for less than half of that. This car's loaded with automatic transmission and eight inch touchscreen with rear camera. It's got advanced driver assistance system, so it's got tech and safety. And again, this brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS can be yours for only $19,988. Only at the number one Sacramento Kia dealer, Elk Grove Kia and Elk Grove Auto Mall and online at elkgrovekia.com. Elk Grove Kia sale price, $20,738. Kia rebate, $750. Net price, $19,988. One at this price, stock number GK9219. Expires March 31st, 2024. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios, KHTKAM Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento, the only station in Sacramento giving you local sports coverage from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Sacktown Sports. on monday all is good uh looking forward to seeing him back in studio on monday we'll continue to get you ready for tonight's matchup between the kings and the mavericks coming up at 3 30 our guy frankie clicks cardicelli our sacktown sports eleven forty kings insider will be joining us as we get ready for what is a must win game for the sacramento kings but let's shift gears a little bit jay talk about the old pastime, America's favorite pastime, baseball, MLB, opening day yesterday. And the Oakland A's laid an egg, <laughs> like literally laid an egg as they lost to the Cleveland Guardians last night, 8-0 at home, their home opener. Uh, the announced attendance, uh, 13,000 and change. Uh, I would imagine more people were outside in the parking lot for the reverse boycott, uh, depending on who you talk to. And here's the thing, Jay, we talked about this. 
you asked me, did you see the uh, pictures from inside the Coliseum? Yeah. I saw some of them. Okay. But I, I, I don't, I, how should I put this? And we'll ask Frankie about this coming up at the bottom of the hour. I don't want to follow somebody's agenda. I, I feel like this whole A saga from both sides, it's been a lot of, you know, everything the A's are doing, John Fisher is bad. Everything, you know, uh, the move to Vegas is all sunshine and rosy also. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and, and so I saw some of the pictures, and I need to check out. I'm going to go to Frankie's uh, page right now because our guy Frankie keeps it real. No agenda at all. Uh, what do you make of the announced attendance? And Because we said yesterday the over-under was about 4,000. Yeah. I Look, I, I've seen numerous, and I'm with you. I, I, I do think there's an agenda you know, in for many different aspects and different avenues of this this uh, argument situation, you know, whatever the climate that we're in right now when it comes to the A's versus yeah. the city of Oakland versus A's fans. And, yeah, you can't tell me you know, how many times and you get to do it. You're at the arena very early and you can post a picture right now. But like nobody's in here. Right. And right, it could be right, 345. Right. Well, we know no one's in there. Because no one can even get inside the arena at this point beside people with the proper credentials. And so I understand what you're saying, Drapes, but I will say this. I, I saw video and look, AI is real right now. I'm not saying you can't. You can manipulate yeah. anything you want in 2024. I'm a true believer of that. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of different videos. I saw a lot of different pictures and from many different angles throughout the, the, the Coliseum. I just didn't see 13-5. I didn't see it with my own two eyes. Now, I wasn't there, hence why we got Frankie Clicks coming on. But if that's 13-5, man, whew, the Coliseum is way bigger than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, like, I mean, did it look like, and I, and I know you're, you're looking at some pictures and probably a few videos. Does it look like 13-5? No, you know, and, and, and I'm looking at Frankie's page right now, you know, because because our guy Frankie is, is legit. He's not going, you know, sugarcoated or I don't know, Jay. I'm looking at this <laughs> maybe six or seven. Yeah. You know, seven ten tops, maybe I, right? I give them <laughs> ten double figures tops, Drapes. Like, seriously, okay. Josh Dubois of the AP. The announced attendance of 13,522 uh, 13, for the A's opener is the lowest non-COVID impacted opening day crowd for any team since the A's drew 7,294 versus the Blue Jays in 1996. That's per stat head. Mm. That game was played at Cashman Field in Las Vegas when Coliseum was being renovated for the Raiders. Mm. So, and this is the thing. E okay, perfect world, Drapes. Let's call it 13-5. And we'll add okay. the extra 22 people in there for good for good sakes. That's still the bottom of the totem pole. Right. That's still e even. <laughs> no, you're, you're right. Even, even if we say, yep, you're right, 13-5, it's still at the bottom for opening day. And you got to imagine opening day routinely ranks around around major league baseball one of your top gates in in the league you know i'm sure chavez ravine was uh is packed out for the dodgers oh yeah i'm, I'm sure fenway park is packed out you know for the red sox when they have their home opener and the fact that the a's at 13 5 even if it was that and we're being generous yes that's still paltry. That's still low. That's still low. Let me ask you this, though, because here's the thing, and we're going to get into, you know, the quote-unquote Sacramento A's coming up in just a minute and why I think a lot of people are being hypocrites about this. You got the reverse boycott outside. Thousands of people out there. Now, that parking lot looked park. like it was 13-5. Let me tell you that. Yeah, it looked like it was bumping. Yeah. <laughs> what's the purpose of that, though? Like, what's... What, what can be gained by that? Or is it just A's fans coming together saying, screw you, Fisher, giving him the middle finger and commiserating together? Is there an end goal with that? Yeah, I think it's twofold. I think part of it is just what you said, like, you know, here flipping the bird to John Fisher. 
and the Dave Cavill and the Oakland A's are saying like, because one of the thing, you know, one of their selling points, they we've heard, we know this for sure within the meetings of ownership and throughout the league is we're not able to garner the proper fans and attendance and have the revenue stream coming for us to not be a small market team, quote unquote, which mean they get the small market revenue. And at the same time, you know, th this is one of the reasons why we need to jump ship and move out of the, out of the city, out of, you know, out of the territory as far as Oakland. And so when you have the reverse boycott is basically showing the league along with, you know, some camaraderie, of course, as an Oakland A's fan, is saying like, no, John Fisher is full of it. That's a lie. That ain't it. He ain't telling the truth. Dave Cavill around here tap dancing, and he know this not the truth. And so when you come together, and you know this, one of the strongest things you can absolutely do we've seen in our nation's history is come together and prove a point. And I think that's what Oakland, fa Oakland A's fans are doing when they do the reverse boycott. It's like, no, money is being spent. We're not cheap. We have it. We will show, we will show up. But number right. one, give us a product on the field to show up, which the A's fans, including myself, in the lean years have still showed up when mm. we had teams, as we talked about yesterday. This is probably a, a over under. And last time I saw uh, MGM, they had the A's at 58, which is just about where they were last year. It's a 50 win last team. Year, yeah. We know, as you talked about yesterday, sometimes coming into baseball more than any other, you know, any other sport, we don't have a shot to win the World Series. Right. Right. You know, but the A's fans have always showed up, Drapes. We've always, you know, done our thing. We've always came together for the hot dog, the, the dollar hot dog night, the dollar ice cream night on Tuesdays. You know, we've always showed up for the Ricky Henderson's celebrations and the Dave Stews and the Terry Steinbach celebrations, the Mike Gallegos. I mean, I can go on and go on, you know, the, Lan the Lance Blankenship celebrations. But the other part of this too is, Drapes, is to show MLB, stop playing with us. Like, don't play us like that. Don't don't say we can't do what you guys are claiming throughout the national media. It's almost I find this funny, Drapes, and you tell me what you think, and you can jump on 916-339-1140. It's kind of in the same similar vein of what the Kings are saying. Like, stop disrespecting us nationally. Stop saying we can't. Stop saying we don't do this. And that's what A's fans, right. when you do the reverse boycott, to me, is saying, Drapes. No, you're you're a hundred percent right about that because when you look at you know this quote move to Vegas, it's being you know spun from John Fisher and Major League Baseball standpoint as you know we won't we can't get a new field we can't get a new stadium you know the, the people aren't showing up and you know it's and and you're looking at it. The people will show up, and we'll get to this next segment when we talk about this "quote unquote" Sacramento A's. But the support is there for the franchise; it's not there for the owner. In fact, Paul Bailey, who's a Stockton resident, I'm reading this article from SFGate.com. Uh, he was one of the co-founder of one of the fan groups organizing the opening day boycott. He said, "Quote: I want to do everything I can in my power to make John Fisher look terrible." And if we can have an empty stadium and a full parking lot, then that's one more thing I could put a feather in my cap with as making John Fisher look bad. So it's not against the Oakland A's, really. It's against John Fisher. Yes. It's against the ownership. It's against Dave Cavill and the way they've handled this. Rob Manfred. The way that they're trying to rip the team. Rob Manfred ripped the team out of the city of Oakland. But coming up, Jay. I'm going to explain to you why there are a lot of hypocrites out there regarding the Oakland A's and its possible relocation to Sacramento for a few years. That's coming up next here on The Drive, guys. Hit us up, 916-339-1140. We're talking Oakland A's baseball and why there are a lot of hypocrites walking around these streets here in Sacramento. I'll tell you why. Coming up next on The Drive, guys. 
We are down to the final 10 games of the NBA's regular season, each one sharing in its importance. But tonight feels massive as the Kings host the Dallas Mavericks. One dribble only, hands it off to Fox. Great pass inside, and a twisting reverse is scored by Davion Mitchell. Sacramento looks to take the season series and own the tiebreaker against the Mavs. Tip off tonight at 7 on your home of the Kings, Sacktown Sports. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave for American Energy Heating and Air with a question. Have you recently had a technician diagnose your HVAC system? And you were a bit surprised at how much it cost? Or did something seem off about their quote? Because at American Energy, they take pride in giving you honest, straightforward solutions to get that system up and running. Have their qualified technicians come out and give you a free second opinion. It's free. You got nothing to lose but some dollars off of that original quote. They're making the uncomfortable comfortable. They've been doing it since 1981, serving the greater Sacramento area A. Plus, with the Better Business Bureau, that's why they keep having customers coming back for more and more and more. You can call them and set that appointment at 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. Call 916-520-9990. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. Right now, Mayor Chevy saves you $8,000 off MSRP on new 2024 Hampton Silverado LT Crew Cab four wheel drives after rebate. It's a Mayor Chevy exclusive. See dealer for details. M3 See all the savings at MaydaChevy.com. Together, let's drive. Be listening to Sacktown Sports each Friday morning for the Rivercats Weekend Report with team updates and everything you'll want to know about the next exciting Rivercats homestand. Let's go, Rivercats! The Drive Guys powering your afternoons Monday through Friday on Sacktown Sports. As I see you take a drink of water over there, Dre, so I'm going to just say this. You asked me one of those things, and welcome back to the Drive Guys, Sacktown Sports 1140. You were talking about some of the music I used to listen to to get pumped, man. Keep the Sneak was definitely yeah. on my list, brother. I told you my kick the sneak story, right? Nah. Dog, I'm flying back. Where was I flying back from? It might have been Summer League in Vegas, right? And I sit down, and there's this dude next to me across the aisle. Now, Jay, I got an ego, right? Like, I don't say it often or come across, but I like to get recognized from time to time. Like, I don't, <laughs> when people say, Drapes, can we get your picture? Of course. Yeah, let's do it. That makes me feel good. <laughs> Now, I'm just I'm just being honest, Jay. I, I respect it. I respect it. <laughs> so I'm on the plane, and this guy comes up from behind. Hey, can I take your picture? But he wasn't talking to me. <laughs> he was talking to the guy next to me. Okay. And I was like, who's this man? Who, who taking my shine right here? This is Drape's time, baby. Right, right. This is a flight back to Sacramento. So I knew there were some Kings fans on this flight. And so I'm like, man, who is this guy? And then somebody like, hey, can I get your autograph? Talking to this guy again. And I'm like, who the heck is this guy? And sure enough, it was Keek the Sneak. Man, shots out. And I was like, Keek the Sneak. Dang. Hyphy fame. Come on, man. Three that, times crazy. Know, Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. And so we chopped it up and everything. And he's like, yeah, man, I, I got a show up here in SAC. I couldn't make it that day. But, no, when you talk about Keek the Sneak, bro, that's my Keek the Sneak. That's story, wild, man. man. He took, he, you, uh, he took your, your pictures and your autographs, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I was okay because by the end of the fight, I was like, yo, can I follow you on IG? Which, I, you know, right. I'm trying to, you know, take a picture with him. That's right. You know that's what right. I mean? It's, uh, Nah, it's, it's it's crazy, man. And the same thing with E40, E40 Fonzarelli, man. You know, a big fan of his. I remember when I was with the Celtics, uh, I was a sideline reporter, and we played Golden State. And I just 
lost my mind. I was like, that's E40. Man. I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a picture with E40. Got right to. Because he was courtside. Got I to. Got to. Yeah. And so that's my guy, even though, you know, he's a Warriors fan now and everything. But, no, oh, man, that's uh, that Bay Area hip hop, man. Come on now. You talking to me. Come on now. So, all right, I, Jay, I want to I want to get back to this Oakland A's situation because here's why. I've been listening to all this talk about the possibility of the A's temporarily relocating to Sacramento. Calling Sacramento home until they can eventually move to Vegas. And I hear a lot of people in the media. I'm hearing a lot of people in the fan base. A lot of people on social media say, nope. We don't want them here. If if it's if it's going to uh, rip the hearts out of Oakland fans, we don't want them. They need to exhaust everything possible to stay in Oakland first, and then only as a last resort, maybe I'll support them. <laughs> and I find it hypocritical, Jay, because here's why: I guarantee you, those same people, if John Fisher. From day one said, you know what? I'm looking to relocate the Oakland A's and Sacramento is my number one market. Those same people would be all for it. And so what's the difference now? What's the difference now? I could say, now if you want to say, I don't want to be used by John Fisher, okay. But don't pledge some allegiance to the city of Oakland when you know darn well if Sacramento would have been the first choice, you wouldn't care about the city of Oakland. That's where I think people are being hip hypocritical, Jay. Maybe that's just my take on it and the way I view things. But I'm hearing a, a lot of holier than thou. We won't do that to our <laughs> brethren in right. Oakland. We're in this with you together. Right. Let John Fisher say, you know what? Vegas fell through, but I want to move to Sacramento. The, and those same people would be like, okay, bring them to SAC. Let's go. Yeah. You tell me, maybe I, I'm I'm looking at it wrong. No, and, and I get mm. it, but but here's the thing: if you're reasoning for not wanting the A's to come here to Sacramento temporarily, is you don't want to be used or something like that. I get that, but don't use the city of Oakland and the people of Oakland and the fans of Oakland. Don't use them as your excuse when you would do the same thing that Vegas is doing right now, Jay. Yeah. I, I, That's why I think some people are. Being I see where you're going. I, I think it's a That's fine, it. it's a fine line drapes. And you know, you, you are a, a transplant. And so yes, I can definitely see from the outside looking in, I'll say this, I think, and I'm speaking Sacramento, Oakland A's fans. They've been through the struggle of trying to keep the Kings in Sacramento. They know what it is to almost see the organization slip through your fingertips and, and lose something that was yours. You know, we how many times do we get people come on? Man, I was a ticket. I've been a season ticket holder since 85. Right. I was born into the Sacramento Kings kingdom. And so I think Sacramento Oakland A's fans, they're struggling. They're, they're struggling to find, you know, their footing. And just what you're saying of if Vegas was to fall through, and the territory of Sacramento becomes available in the Oakland A's organization eye. And, it, you know, now Sacramento becomes one, one A, and they're trying to come to Sacramento and get a, a, a stadium built here. I'm with you. And let me say this as a Sacramento Oakland A's fan, if the Oakland A's were coming to Sacramento, please, by all means, come here. Definitely. <laughs> I'm on that boat. Even with John Fisher. Even with John Fisher, knowing that I think the play for John Fisher is this, and this is from everything we heard is this. He's coming or he's he's trying to relocate so he can sell the team and get out. He wants the money, right? Compared to I could okay. take and it sounds crazy because it's the climate of what everyone is going through day to day. He's looking for more than a one billion dollar come up. He wants the five, six billion dollar come up. Right. Mm. That sounds crazy to say that, but that's what he's looking forward to. But this is the other part. And I think please call. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone on the text line, you know, nine one six three three nine eleven forty as a as a Oakland A's fan taking Sacramento away from it. Oakland A's fans haven't been opposed to seeing the Oakland A's go to Fremont or go to San Jose. You know, or come to Sacramento because it's the same region. 
And so I think there's a there's a we have to separate that drapes. I think you're talking to the okay. Sacramento A's fans, but Oakland A's right. fans, people who aren't from Sacramento or, or Doyle here, I think they're like, look, put them in, put them in Fairfield. You could put them in Antioch. You could put them in Brentwood. And they you would be put, okay with that. Why not? The people be- in Oakland. The- the fans in Oakland would be okay with that. I think so because they would be here. They it would be something we could call our own. Now I'm pretty sure there are people gonna be like, no, it's only Oakland and Oakland only. Like that's cool, that's fine. If you want to say it's Jack London or you want to put them right where they're at, that's fine. But no one was crying about when Oakland A's were getting ready to go to Fremont. No one was crying beside the Giants. No one was crying about the A's going to San Jose beside the Giants. You know, Giants fans and, and their organization. So I don't think it's so much about that. I think it's they're getting ready to go to Las Vegas. That's that's completely a whole different thing. That's not Sacramento. That's not San Jose. That's not Petaluma. That's none of that, you know? And I think that's where you have to separate that, Drapes. Okay. All right. I, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. You know, it, it's just, and, and you and I have t- talked about this. Let's say Sacramento is the temporary home. Three years. Are you supporting the A's? Are you going to games? Are you taking the kids? <sighs> See, I, I think Are that's the, your money. Hmm, that's for me personally, and this is where I, I've kind of been on the fence. I'm like a I'm like a cat on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which way to jump because I'm from here. This is me. I'm South Sac. This is where I grew up. I would love to have the my favorite team play in Sacramento, but. I'm also supporting John Fisher. I'm also supporting the, the, the right. Dave Cavill. And I'm supporting the nonsense that baseball is kicking to me. And at the same time to know, you know what? We're just the holding spot. Like, we don't have anything at the end of this rainbow. You know, there's not a pot at the end of this right. rainbow. And so that's what I struggle with. And that's where I can hear where you're like, eh, stop being hypocritical. Because if they come to SAC, we have a, a, a MLB team here. It's going to be hard for me not to slide down there and support my team. I get it. But I'm also supporting John Fisher's shenanigans, that lollygagging that he got going on. And I don't want to do that. And so right now, give me a mulligan, brother. I, give me a, a, a redo because I'm not, I'm not <laughs> sure. I'm still torn. I'm still trying to get yeah, a better grasp yeah. on it. You know, I'm, I got my ice skates on drapes, but I'm on. The, I'm in Minnesota where you were going to school, and I can't ice skate, so I'm holding on the, the railing right now. You know, if that <laughs> makes sense. Like, on. yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I, I got one of those little walkers right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm not sure. I can, me personally, I can't answer that, but I hope, you know, and this is where you got to put yeah. me on the couch. I'm hoping other <laughs> Oakland A's fans can help me get through that because I love my city, but I can't stand the A's right now. And so that's where I'm kind of torn. If that makes sense. Yeah. And you have to like sort of wait and see in that moment. Like if they were here, then we could decide you could just say, all right, I guess I'll go to a game. Like it's hard to make that decision right now. You know, if 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 you pick up the phone and it's, June and the family, yeah. you like, man, young drapes want to go to a game and I got a four piece of tickets, you know, and my, and, and the, the rest of my family don't want to go dog. I don't want to waste the two tickets. Why don't you pull up with me? I'm like, man, that's yeah. as you would say, that's my guy. I get to hang out with drapes. I get a beautiful ballpark. I get, I get to go see, you know, uh, uh, my, my green and gold and they're playing the San Diego Padres Tatis, yeah. you know, like, I'm I'm probably in. I'm probably in. But I'm looking oh. myself in the mirror, Drapes, like, what am I doing? <laughs> right, right. What am I doing? Yeah. It goes against everything you uh, have been saying the last year or two about this situation. Hey, man, we're going to continue this conversation. We got Frankie Clicks Cardicelli jumping on with us here next segment. He was in the building. He was outside of the Coliseum last night as well. We'll ask him about that and also ask him about this huge matchup between the Kings and the Mavericks. You're listening to The Drive Guys here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Last season, the Sacramento Kings gave us a little bit of everything. A Pacific Division type GM of the year, coach of the year, clutch player of the year. 
all stars and all NBA performers. Plus, we got to light the beat. Here's a steal by Fox. The breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. What does this season have in store? Find out. Each and every Sacramento Kings game can be heard right here on your proud home of the beam team. Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. The Amish have a reputation for craftsmanship, determination, and quality. Hi, this is Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. You know, those virtues sound quite similar to the Keys family and the day-to-day values on display at Naturewood. The Amish furniture craftsmanship begins with the finest hardwood, shaping and molding the raw materials into one-of-a-kind art. In addition to the classic styles long sought and revered by discriminating furniture lovers, Naturewood Home Furnishings offers a vast selection that includes transitional, modern, farmhouse, arts and crafts, and other stunning styles all available in the ultimate Amish standard of excellence built over centuries. All Naturewood Amish furniture is on sale right now for a limited time. Let the Naturewood team guide you through their selection of Amish furniture that will be with you forever. Naturewood Home Furnishings, off Highway 50 at Hazel. Look for the water wheel. Dr. Ken Halachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art Support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art Support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. Thinking of remodeling your home? Say goodbye to endless internet searches and visit Subcontractors United. Find a list of three pre-qualified and licensed contractors in each home service category. From cabinets to landscapers and everything in between, Subcontractors United makes finding qualified contractors free and easy with no accounts to set up. Visit subcontractorsunited.com and experience the joy of stress-free home improvement. Save time and money at subcontractorsunited.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kyle Draper here from Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. If you're an entrepreneur with a vehicle fleet, I'll tell you that outfitting your van fleet with Mercedes-Benz vans is a very smart business move. Here's why. If you use it for business, you'll likely qualify for substantial tax breaks. Plus, they're rugged, sophisticated cargo haulers that you will love driving. You'll also love the way these things look with your company logo on them. And finally, it is Mercedes Madness season. That's right. Rates are available starting at 4 4.9% APR. Choose from any of 60 vans available right now at Mercedes-Benz of Stockton's Commercial Fleet Center next to their stunning new showroom. These folks wrote the book on what true customer service looks like. I'm a car and truck enthusiast, and I mean it when I tell you that the customer service you can expect at Mercedes-Benz of Stockton is the best. Go see their beautiful new Mercedes showroom just a half hour from SAC, right off 55, online as well at mbofstockton.com. The recent storm has caused dangerous driving conditions for us. The Arnold Law Firm has seen how a collision can turn anyone's life upside down. Be alert and stay safe. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916 777 77 First of all, I had to take the headband off for the last break because it was cutting off the circulation to my brain, bro. This thing, this might be a youth headband that my guy Mo brought up to me, man. This thing is tight on my head. Yeah, in children's place, enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, I'm trying to stretch this thing out. Uh, you know what I mean? Leave the shoe up a bit. 
<laughs> and then Selena and Molly just brought up the grub uh, here. And uh, oh, let me see what the, what's for dinner here. Ooh, that looks good, RJ. Yeah, a little grilled chicken and broccoli. See if they got the popcorn up in there. Man, yep, stop, got the popcorn stop up lying. in there. First of all, drinks don't lie to the to the folks of Sack Sports eleven forty. Man, this ain't your dinner. Stop Ooh. lying. This is a this is a, a pregame meal. You get a you get a <laughs> game my, time meal as well. Lunch. Hi, what you know? How, how you know about that? I Jake? told you, man. I have walked <laughs> by numerous times and seen you with a burger in your palms. And I, <laughs> no, I do. I usually I'll keep it real with you. When I'm on the floor. They bring me a, a meal at halftime. Yes. When I'm on pre and post game at the start of the game, I go to row one club ah, and have dinner down there. Okay. Yeah. Everybody else is out here on the floor and watching the game. I go back there and chill. Got the big screen, got my feet up, you know, order off the menu. So you're right. This is not my dinner. This is my late lunch. But, you know, it depends on what role I'm in, what, what I have for dinner tonight. That's what's up, man. It must be great being Kyle just, Draper. Just keeping it real. Hey, man, it's hard work. I make it look easy, bro, but it's hard work out here, man. So, <laughs> all right, man, let's get back to business here. We got a big game going on. Kings versus the Mavericks here. And it's funny, man, I, I, I'm on social media, and, and my guy De'Aaron Fox had to clap back at the, a Mavs reporter. I don't know if you guys saw this, but this was uh, just on Twitter. Uh, Brad Townsend, who covers uh, the Mavs, for uh, the Dallas Morning News, he tweeted out this morning, the Mavs are waiting in the arena hallway for Kings to get off the court for shoot-around. This is where a wise guy would insert that the Kings need the extra time. De'Aaron Fox clapped back at him. We shoot around on our practice court, though. So how are you waiting for us to get off the floor if we're over in our practice court? You see what I mean? And this is a, a reporter for the Dallas Morning News, man. You can't trust them out there, man. You cannot trust them out there. Let's bring in our guy, Frankie Clicks Cardicelli. You can trust Frankie. Frankie, one of the best in the business. Frankie, what's up, man? How you doing? Are you in the building yet? Are you at the arena yet? Fellas, thank you for having me. No, I'm, I'm in my car about to leave. And, man, if you're on your way to Golden 1 tonight, be be careful. It's windy. It's rainy. It's it's nasty out right now, man. But uh, I'm excited to get down there and, and dive into it. And, you know, this time of year usually brings out that kind of, you know, the, the messing around between whether it's media or fan bases. Obviously, we all right. remember last year how crazy things got on social media with Kings and Warriors fans. And I guess, you know, like a mini playoff series, Kings and Mavericks fans are, I guess, now media are getting after it. So I'm excited to get down there. Right. <laughs> Got to hold your own, Frankie. Be careful. Yeah, be careful, man. I thought he'd take the helicopter or something, the private jet, knowing uh, the Cardicelli family here and uh, how big they are in Sacramento. <laughs> but uh, uh, be careful out there. Drive it in, Frankie. Uh, before we get to tonight's matchup, me and Jay were just talking about the reverse boycott there at, at the Coliseum uh, in Oakland. You were down there. Just describe the scene both inside and outside last night. Yeah, you know, it, it, they're very interesting. It's my third one I've been to. Obviously, opening day a little different, but the, the way I can best describe it is it's almost like you're going to like a wake, and, and but everyone at that wake is just angry. And I think that these fans, they obviously have every right to be angry. They're having a team that they've cared about for, uh, in some cases, generations, people that came with their grandparents or their parents, and this team, they want to go with their kids. I, I met a couple fans that were taking their, their sons or daughters to the game yesterday, and they said it might be their last opening day, so... Uh, everyone has a different story and, and different angle. And uh, the parking lot was where, the, where all the action was. Obviously, it wasn't just a, a one section of the parking lot situation. If you've been to Oracle, uh, or, formerly Oracle Arena or, or the Coliseum, you know how big that parking lot is. And it was, as far as you can see, cars and people in, in green and gold. And uh, this the fan base is angry. And it's going to continue until the team is, is officially in Las Vegas, whether they're in Oakland, Sacramento, Salt Lake City, wherever. They made it clear that they're going to, continue to, to voice their you know disdain for John Fisher and that ownership group. But um, interesting feel inside the ballpark as well. Not many people. I saw that the announced attendance, I think, was 17,000. And that's just no no way uh, true. What? No way true. No what? way there are 17,000 people inside <laughs> of that building. Wait a minute, Frankie. So this is something we've been having a conversation about. And I, I'll say this. Hexabar, who's on our uh, YouTube, he was like, look, I was at the game sitting in Section 114, when they announced that uh, during the game that 13-5 was the attendance, he said everybody threw their head back and laughed. Now, what I've seen is 13-5, uh, uh, 13,522. You're saying they announced 17,000? 
Maybe I was wrong on that. I think it was. I, I think it might have been thirteen. Either way, a double digit in the tens of thousands. There's no way. There's no way it was over ten thousand people. I was telling. I talked to Chris Watkins and Alan Miller earlier, and I said I think it was around more like six or seven thousand. See, drapes, we had it, brother. <laughs> that. That's what we said yesterday. We predicted, you know, maybe four thousand, five thousand, uh, six or seven. I know you put out a picture as well. When did you take that picture, and uh, what did you think of the crowd inside uh, the building? Or were those the loyalists, the diehards? You think? Those, are, I think, those are the loyalists. You know, I, I did talk to some fans that they said that they were going to come inside once they spent a little time out at the, at the boycott because, again. There are not many games where fans are getting together to do these kinds of things. And these are, there are not many games where fans are actually going to go in because these fans don't want to spend money. They don't want to put money in John Fisher's pockets. They made that very clear. So the vibe inside was, you know, there were cheers, of course. There were some fans that, that were getting into it. But, again, A's were down 6-0 when, when I left in the seventh inning. I think that was the final. But um, it, it, it's a weird feeling, man. It, it's a weird feeling. It, it's hard to be in the middle of all this, especially with what's going on with the potential Sacramento news. And, and it's we talk to a different fan, they have a different story. That's just kind of the way it goes right now. My, my dad was an A's fan growing up. He's definitely not he's torn up about it. Um, it just really is something that, that I hope that fans can find a place of comfort. And I know that Kings fans have been through similar. I, I used to go to here we buy nights, here we stay nights, and it's a horrible feeling. And uh, there really is no easy solution. And, of course, that's what they're making through last night. Our guy Frankie Cardicelli joining us here on the Drive Guys Sacktown Sports 1140. Frankie, our Kings insider. Let's uh, turn to tonight's matchup with the Sacramento Kings and the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, what did you n- think about Tuesday's game, and what do the Kings need to do different tonight, in your opinion, Frankie? I think a lot was going into it, and I, I kind of view that loss as, as an outlier. I mean, you lose by 36 points, a lot has to go wrong, and a lot did go wrong. And You can go ahead and, and make it, maybe the folks from the fact that they played five games in seven nights with two back-to-backs in there over two time zones. I think no matter who they played, and that's not to take credit away from the Mavericks, I think no matter who they played, they would have been a little sluggish. But uh, I'm looking at the pace. They really want to – the thing that makes the Kings very dangerous is they're able to get out and run, push the pace. In those wins against, like, the Lakers, the Bucks, and so forth, their fast break points, they doubled up. They nearly almost doubled up those opponents, and uh, they never got that edge against Dallas. And also, something I'm looking at tonight is Demonis Sabonis, who over his past five games, we know, we know he likes to move the basketball around, but – Averaging nine field goal attempts per game over the past five. I'd like to see him attack those bigs down there that Dallas has. I think that they're, they pack the paint, but they don't really have any true shot blockers down there. And I think Sabonis, when he's down there, he can bruise himself to the to the basket. So I'm looking at that. And obviously they have a two-headed snake of Luka and Kyrie. And as we saw, Luka scores two two points in the second half after scoring 26. Kyrie scores 18. I think that if you can go ahead and try to control the other guys that are going to cause damage. The Derrick Jones Jr., who hit a big three late in the third quarter. Uh, and down the line. I think if you can control the other guys, you can kind of live with the fact that those two players are going to get what they usually get. But um, And then finally, the last thing I would say is attacking Luke on the defensive end. He's playing injured. He's slow already when he's not, when he's even if he's healthy. I think when you see guys um, like De'Aaron Fox or Malik Monk, if they can somehow get, on, get him on a switch and attack him and go to the basket, the Kings will be in a good spot. But it really was a lot of things that went wrong in that game. So I think that a couple days off, the Kings should be in a much better spot tonight. Joined by our guy, Frankie Cardicelli, a.k.a. Clicks. Frankie, with the news coming out today of Kevin Herter being done for the season, and I think, you know, you you do a great job, just like Brendan Nunez being our Sac Sports 1140 Kings insiders. I think you guys pretty much knew it was the end of the season for him when he, had, when he sustained the injury, but now that it's, it's final, it's over, the finality is here, what are your thoughts on this team moving forward as far as rotational-wise? Because I know they lose a piece not only – probably starting but even if he was coming off the bench yeah it's tough and it makes it even tougher as they try to navigate this period without Sasha Bezenkov who appears to be close he said they've had two rounds getting close to returning and and Trey Lyle who's doing some on court work but without Kevin Herter the guy who's had an up and down season just having him even if it would be off the bench if John Ellis was going to be the starter for the rest of the way having a player with experience like Kevin Herter who has the ability to knock down three pointers get hot change the outcome of a game it seems good many times that's going to hurt. So you have to see the Kings rely on guys like Keegan Murray, who I think his, his volume is going to increase as, as a shooter and trying to score the basketball. It's going to put more pressure on Malik Monk in that second unit to kind of act as uh, that leader. And especially on nights where De'Aaron Fox doesn't have it, Malik has really been a guy that stepped up. Both of those things didn't happen on Tuesday against Dallas. But 
Um, I think it's a loss for sure. I mean, Kevin Herter was a guy who was playing nearly 30 minutes per game or over 30 minutes per game over the past two seasons, a big piece of how this team's been successful. So um, I think the Kings do have some solid depth, though. Keon Ellis has shown he can knock down a three in a, in a pinch. He can play very good defense, of course. And uh, you have to look at guys like Keegan, Fox, Malik, and the rest to kind of step up on the offensive end. Frankie Cardicelli jumping on the drive, guys, here. Sacktown Sports 1140. Frankie, uh, just how different or how dire is it between getting a top six seed and the play-in? Because we know everybody wants to avoid the play-in. We understand that. But if the Kings are in the play-in, can they still make noise? Or is this is this it, right? Is, is this about extending their season versus, you know, maybe being done in the play-in? What do you think tonight? I mean, as far as tonight goes, I think if you have this game, it, it does increase the likelihood, obviously, a lot that you're going to be in that top six spot. But uh, I don't look at, at, at the plan as necessarily a depth sense or anything. I think that it depends on matchups. You know, the Kings have been horrible uh, against the Houston Rockets, and they're, they're climbing the standings. They could find themselves in that mix. They keep playing the way they're playing. The Warriors are giving the Kings some fit. So I think it depends on what the matchup is. Uh, obviously, I'm not comparing the Kings to the Miami Heat, but the Miami Heat were a playing team when they went to the finals last year. Again, anything can happen in sports, but um, I think the Kings do have somewhat of a, of a chance to not quite control their own destiny, but almost because they, they play these teams that they're around. They play Dallas, they play Phoenix, New Orleans, and so forth. Uh, but you got to pick up tonight. Like I think if I think that if you lose tonight's game, it significantly decreases your chances of, of catching Dallas. If you trail them by two games, in the standings with nine to go and they might have a chance of getting that tiebreaker because it goes to conference records and they nearly have identical records there. It just makes it kind of hard on themselves. So um, I think the Kings, if they win tonight, they're in a good, a good spot, but that's kind of the way the last couple of weeks have gone. It just kind of flip flop between that six through seven, eight range and uh, things can change on a daily basis. And tonight the Kings could be in a much better spot. Than the W. Frankie, uh, coming up at the top of the hour, we're going to have a conversation here on Sacktown Sports 1140 about which player needs to have a LeBron Celtics Game 6 2012 game. Which player needs to deliver tonight? Which player needs to put the team on its back and say, ride me, guys, we're going to get this win? Who do you think needs to play, must play well tonight for the Kings to win? That was the LeBron, uh, the meme, right, with his, the, the eyes. Yes. When he's looking up yeah, the Boston. crazy eyes and everything. Yeah, he was he was locked in. Man, when I think about that picture, I think about fire. And Malik Monk has been in a funk lately. I think he hasn't made it three in three games. And I think he's averaging around seven points per game during that time. He's due for one of those just kind of like pop games, like where he's going to give you 25 plus. And uh, we all know how fiery Malik is and how much he loves the big the big spotlight. And tonight, you know, not quite TNT or ESPN, but in front of a national audience again on NBA TV. And I think he's ready to show the world what he can do again. So I'm, I'm looking at Malik for a guy who has been a game changer for the Kings a lot and is due for a big game. And I think tonight's a very ideal time for that big game. Joined by Frankie Carticelli, a.k.a. Clicks. Frankie, this is, uh, I, I think, for everybody. And y you correct me if I'm wrong if you don't feel this way. This is a must win for the Sacramento Kings when it comes to this point in the season. Like, I, I don't think there's anything bigger, but I think something we'll, we'll probably talk about here down the road today on the show is, do you feel this is the most pressure this Kings team has been in since the Golden State Warriors series? Yeah, I mean, I'd say so. I'd say it's like, it's like, yeah, it is until it isn't, right? But with nine games to go, I think that you can kind of start using that must win uh, phrase. I know our buddy Deuce Mason, he's very critical of the way that that's used. If uh, I think he likes to answer back people that say that on social media. Well, is the season over tomorrow? No, but I do think if you lose this game, you really, like I said, you really are going to be at a disadvantage here. And, and I don't know if you're going to catch Dallas, who has a much easier uh, road to the finish line. So the Kings, obviously, I, they have responded to adversity. I mean, last year, every time they were in a position like this, where they, whether it was a big loss or a losing streak, they would stop the bleeding. This team has proven they can do that. And I think that they can do it again, whether it's tonight or, or Sunday. Tonight, obviously, more ideal, but I feel like this team does a very good job of not letting things spiral. So I, I personally am expecting a much different Kings team tonight because the two days off, I think, will benefit them. Uh, having a, a guys like Darren Fox and Malik Monk, who have gone through a couple of rough stretches, uh, just the numbers tell you they're due. So I, I would say, yeah, I, I'd agree. It's a game that I think they really need to win if they want to be in a good position. But, uh, again, they respond to adversity, and I have no doubt they'll do it again. Frankie, what can you tell us about Sasha Bazankov in, in this ankle. I, I mean, the dude's been questionable for a couple of weeks now. 
went through shoot around today. Is this the day finally we see Shasha back on the floor? Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, he even wouldn't really fully commit to it. I think that just when you come off of a grade three ankle sprain, that's, you know, I think that's the tippy top as far as ankle sprains go. Uh, you want to be sure. And this is the longest he was saying he's been off the floor playing basketball, I believe, in his professional career. So it's killing him inside that he, that he can't play. And the Kings really with Kevin Herter now out could use that floor spacing, not a two guard, obviously, but a guy that you can put out there if you need some shooting. And, um, I would imagine it, it's coming up pretty soon. He's been a participant in practice. He participates in shoot around every morning. I think I heard you say earlier, it's kind of like a glorified walkthrough. And, and I agree it, th- those usually don't involve much running or cutting or those, those lateral movements you need to make in order to play. But, um, he's close. I know that he's close. I'd imagine he plays if, if not tonight before the end of this, uh, this homestand, I would imagine, but, uh, hard to say for sure. Cause the Kings are being very protective. Yeah, you're right about that. Frankie Cardicelli, our Sacktown Sports 1140 Kings insider joining us. You know, one thing when I look back at, at the game on Tuesday was the fact that Luca in the first half really controlled everything. You know, he got his points and he hit guys like P.J. Washington, uh, guys like Derek Jones Jr., Tim Hardaway off the bench. You know, and, and when I look at this Mavs team, Sure, they are much improved defensively since the trade deadline, but they stu- still have two weak links, Kyrie and Luka, on a defensive end. How would you like to see the Kings attack those two guys? I mean, I think that with Luka, I mean, especially yeah, it's, both those guys really, the Kings have done a better job of contesting. I think that there's a little too much space for Luka, and especially Kyrie, who's very shifty and very good at creating that space. But uh, Luka's not going to beat you usually with his quickness. He's going to beat you with having a little more time and be open on those shots. and. You have to give credit to Dallas, who, who's done a good job of moving the ball around. But um, Luca, he's kind of got to hope he can get a hand up in his face and, and contest the best that you can. But, again, the guy who's not playing 100% healthy, I don't think he's going to be trying to do too much off the dribble. And uh, he, he lived and died by the three the other night. And, again, the second half, as you saw, he ran out of gas. So, uh, if you can put on one of those guys, even, you have a very good chance of win. You know, obviously, if both are cooking you know, like last time. But, uh, put on one of them. I think Luca's the one that you got to target the most. I expect Keegan Murray is going to be putting a lot of pressure on him and after that we'll see what happens frankie last one for me we started this show and i don't know if you had an opportunity to see my guy drapes at the arena right now he's decked out he's got the the the, the shooting <laughs> sleeve he's got the finger tape he's got the De'Aaron fox jersey rocking the headband he's out there looking like you know grandma ma if you were coming to the game tonight not in the capacity that you're in who, what, what Kings jersey, what, what gets you ready for uh, the gunfight tonight? What jersey would you be donning? Man, obviously I'd have to go with my guy, C. Webb. That was the guy that I loved growing up. I had every jersey I think you could imagine. And nothing got me locked in like wearing C. Webb jerseys, man. Back when it was 0-2, 0 4 I'd be wearing that thing to school every day and, you know, arguing with my Laker fan friends. And, uh, wait, wait, Drake, what jersey do you have on? What, who, are you wearing Fox? Who is it? Yeah, yeah. I, I, went, I, I went to the team store. Bought a Fox jersey, Frankie. Did not even look at the price, big fella, because we need to win at all costs. The price didn't matter. I love it. Getting the win matters, Frankie. So I invested in a Fox jersey. I can I completely agree, man. I love it. Hopefully that'll be a good luck charm tonight. Maybe the headband, if, if things are going sour for the for the halftime show, you throw the headband back on. <laughs> Maybe I might do that. Last question, Frankie. What's your gut telling you? Not about win or losing, but what kind of game do you expect? What kind of performance from the Kings are you expecting tonight? Uh, I expect to see Sacramento Kings basketball. And what we saw on Tuesday was not that. I expect them to get out and push the pace. I expect them not to let as many open three pointers. Uh, you know, those, those were some lapses that they had the other night. And I'm looking at them to play a lot better brand of defense. Obviously, we know the Kings have been a very good defensive team. For the past couple of weeks, that was not the case on Tuesday. I think that a couple of days off and a practice with Mike Brown, who makes, uh, you know, he's very great at making those adjustments when you're playing the same team twice in a little mini series like this. I'm expecting it's a better brand of Sacramento Kings basketball. And, and you know, I, I, I win or loss, I don't know if I can say 100% certainty, but I'm definitely expecting a win more than a loss because that's how the team does. They respond to these situations and they respond to adversity. Frankie Cardicelli. On the drive, guys, here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Check them out, obviously, on social media and SacktownSports1140.com. Frankie, thanks for uh, joining us, man. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys. Thanks again. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Clicks Cardicelli joining the drive, guys. When we come back, who needs to be the LeBron of 2012 for the Sacramento Kings? 
Who needs to have an iconic performance tonight against the Dallas Mavericks? Jay and I will discuss. Plus, we'll take your phone calls. 916-339-1140. It's the Drive Guys here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Sacramento weather is brought to you by the Arnold Law Firm. I'm meteorologist Heather Waldman in the KCRA3 Weather Center. Breezy with rain this evening. The wind will back off overnight, and we will still see some scattered showers on Saturday with highs near 60. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA News and the KCRA app. Progressive presents Precious Moments. Hey, Jess, want to come for a ride on my motorcycle? <sighs> you know, we can talk about our feelings and explore our emotional compatibility. I thought you'd never ask... The exchange you just heard didn't actually happen, but it could. Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive and you could use the savings to make sure the motorcycle is always ready for your dream girl. So keep the dream alive and the savings coming with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states. Fabrice. Fabric Talk. Hey, it's me, your couch. Today's my favorite day of the week. Fabrice Fabric Spray Day. The occasional deep cleans are nice, but in between, you know I'm needing a refresh. Ooh, here she comes with the Fabrice Fabric Spray. Oh, yeah. Spritz them armrests. Don't be shy. Nothing like a good spray down to get me smelling so fresh and clean. Don't forget my back. Nice. Fabrice Fabric spray it's just that easy now we can both breathe happy, happy for breeze la 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 contact tax relief helpers for details and restrictions attention anyone that owes money to the irs the irs has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for covid if you owe ten thousand dollars or more you must hear this because now is the time to clear your irs tax debt a special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees avoid liens levies or other hostile measures by the irs call tax relief helpers right now at eight hundred. 906-5382. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-906-5382 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, or other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800 800- 906-5382 800-906-5382 800-906-5382 Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close by well lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region in a safe and friendly environment best food best service and the best action that's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly. 1-800-GAMBLER. Beachhead Deli on 711K Street is now your place to go in downtown Sacramento prior to all the games, concerts, and events. Conveniently located just across the street from the arena, Beach Hut Deli features the finest gourmet sandwiches and craft beverages anywhere. Beach Hut Deli at 711K Street is also your premier lunch destination seven days a week. Come by and say hi to new owner Brad Wakai. He's so excited to take care of all your taste bud needs. That's Beach Head Deli at 7-Eleven K Street in Sacramento. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. If your passion is bass fishing, only one radio show has the action, information, and excitement of your favorite outdoor sport. Ultimate Bass, hosted by tournament bass pro and California Outdoor Hall of Famer Kip Brown, takes you live to where the fish are biting every Saturday morning. Only Ultimate Bass feeds your passion with the latest news, products, tips, and advice from the pros. Ultimate Bass with Kip Brown, Saturday mornings at 5 a.m. on Sacktown Sports 1140, part of SEP's Saturday Morning Outdoors. 
Hi, everyone. It's Emron Pilati, host of the True Sports Card Show here on Sacktown Sports 1140 every Saturday at 10 a.m. Would you like a chance to meet Ricky Henderson, Dennis Rodman, Johnny Manziel, Randy Johnson, Frank Thomas, Vlad Guerrero Sr., Dave Stewart, and our favorite Malik Monk and meet over 90 sports card dealers all in one weekend? This is your chance to do it on May 17th through the 19th at the Roseville Fairgrounds at the Sacramento Autograph Expo. You can get all the information about the show on our website at sacautographexpo.com. That's sacautographexpo.com. Golf to Go is brought to you by the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Here's Frank LaRosa. Tim Walsh, director of sales for Bridgestone Golf, was excited to talk about the new line of Tour B golf balls. Bridgestone has been making golf balls since 1935, and their philosophy was to serve society with superior quality. All these years later, quality is not in question. While we as players tend to settle on a ball that will increase our distance or one that will enhance feel. The Tour B line of golf balls delivers both distance and feel through their new reactive smart cover and mid-layer. PGA Tour player Jason Day assisted on the development of Mindset, which is a visual cue on the golf ball to remind you of a three-step process. First is to identify your target, then visualize the shot path, and then focus on the dot, which helps to clear your mind and execute the shot you visualized. Mindset is available on the full line of Bridgestone Tour B golf balls. To learn more, visit BridgestoneGolf.com. That's your golf to go. I'm Frank LaRosa. Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater Sacramento area for oil changes. Visit JiffyLube.com for more details and valuable coupons months today. Tuesday, the Kings got worked by the Dallas Mavericks. Tonight, Sacramento looks for some payback. Pressure against Luke on a double-team blitz. Here's a steal by Fox. A breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. Kings fans elated. Sacramento on top. Join us on Sacktown Sports for the Kings and Mavericks in a big-time battle in the Western Conference. Get all the action starting at 7 on Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. Do you have an invention idea but don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp today. We have representatives nationwide and services to showcase your invention. Get started today. Call 1-800-217-4380. That's 1-800-217-4380. When a cold keeps you up, try NyQuil Severe Honey Flavor. The nighttime, sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, fever, honeylicious, best sleep with a cold medicine. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. Your home for Kings basketball for over 25 seasons. No look, Bibby to Weber, down the lane, flying jam. There's your play of the night right there. It's inside is Sabonis, a two-hand rip, a brilliant pass from De'Aaron Fox. KHTK AM Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento. Sandown Sports. The only station in Sacramento giving you local sports coverage from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Sacktown Sports. Drapes and Jay back here with you. Sacktown Sports. 1140. It's the drive, guys. Four hours away. No, three hours away. From tip off between the Kings and the Mavericks, a must win game for the Sacramento Kings, their biggest game of the regular season. I'm here at the arena, Jay back in the studio, sitting here watching Kyrie Irving, first player on the floor, warming up for tonight's game. And as we know, Kyrie Irving went off the other night with 24 points. Uh, most of those coming in the second half didn't have to do much light work in that first half. He had 24 points total as the Mavericks were able to lay the wood down 132-96. Now it's revenge time if you're Sacramento. Now it's time for the stars to step up. Who's it going to be tonight? Is it going to be De'Aaron Fox? Is it going to be DeMontis Sabonis? Might this be the Keegan Murray game? We just had Frankie Clicks Cardicelli on. He said Malik Monk. Look for Malik to have a 25-piece tonight. All I know is somebody has to step up tonight. Somebody has to lead this Sacramento Kings team to a win. I mentioned it. We all know what's at stake. You win this game, you have the tiebreaker over the Mavericks. Uh, Phoenix is playing OKC. 
If OKC wins, then Sacramento's right back there in the sixth seed uh, at the end of tonight. This is the biggest game regular season in Sacramento since I've been here. This is the fourth season I've been here in Sacramento. The first two, obviously, you know, no sniff, uh, uh, sniffing of the playoffs, no shot at the postseason. But tonight, the difference between the play-in and the playoffs hangs in the balance tonight. And it sort of remem- reminds me of LeBron James back in 2012 against the Boston Celtics. Let me set the scene for you guys. The Celtics had beaten LeBron in the Miami Heat. Three games to two, they were up in the playoffs. Game six was in Boston Garden, TD Garden. This is before LeBron had won a championship. Remember, the year before, they made it to the finals, and Dallas and Dirk Nowitzki bounced them out of the finals and won the championship. This is the time for LeBron to step up, and it's sort of similar for the Sacramento Kings. If you don't believe that that moment back in 2012 Game six in Boston was the moment that changed LeBron's career. Don't ask me. Listen to Norris Cole, who was his teammate at the time. They looked at LeBron James as, we need you tonight, guys. It's sort of similar how the Kings need De'Aaron or Domas or somebody to step up. Who's going to be that guy? Here's what Norris Cole had to say about that game six LeBron James performance. They was just at us. I'm gonna be honest. They, I ain't no excuse. They was at us, bro. They was just going at us. And what got into that man? I'm about to say, and we needed, we needed Bron to be bro. special. You mm-hmm. know those MJ moments, those Kobe moments. You know what I'm saying those Allen Iverson moments where they become who they are. Yeah. And this is why I am who mm-hmm. I am. That was the perfect moment, the perfect segue for Bron and be like, all right, now this is the platform. Yes. <laughs> This is your, this is your stage. Yeah, we all like make hey, art. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna be out. They was at us, man. They 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 just had our number up until that point, and you know they wasn't scared of us. Exactly. So other teams might be intimidated. They wasn't. They had no. They, they wasn't scared no of us. They was ready, whatsoever. and they was talking that talk. Mm-hmm. They was walking that walk. There it is, right there. Did you hear what Norris Cole said? LeBron moment. It was LeBron's time to be on that pat platform. They were looking to him. Who are we looking to for the Sacramento Kings tonight? Is it DeMontis Sabonis, the three-time All-Star? Is it uh, a De'Aaron Fox, clutch player of the year last year? In my opinion, and I'm rocking this jersey today because I believe in him, I think it has to be De'Aaron Fox tonight. Because here's why. When you look at Kyrie Irving, I see him right there warming up right in front of me. Kyrie's an all-time great future Hall of Famer. Luka Doncic is going to go down as an all-time great, a future Hall of Famer. But on this night, we need De'Aaron Fox to put on his cape and be the dude that we know he is. We need pissed off and angry De'Aaron Fox right from the opening tip. We need engaged De'Aaron Fox right from the opening tip. That LeBron James game, I was there. I was at that building for game six at TD Garden back on June 7th, 2012. LeBron looked like a man possessed right from the jump, right from the warm-ups. He finished that game with 45 points, 15 rebounds, five assists, and he took that entire 18,505-seat arena crowd out of it. I need De'Aaron Fox tonight to come out here and be the best. Be the best player on the floor. It's not on the road. No, you got the comfy confines at home. You're going to have Rasay and Baby Rain sitting courtside cheering you on. That's what I need from De'Aaron Fox tonight. I need De'Aaron Fox to be the best person on the floor tonight. And it doesn't just start when he checks into the game or at the jump ball. As Norris Cole said about LeBron James. That performance in 2012, LBJ had a look about him from the jump, from the get-go. That's what we need from De'Aaron Fox. Here's how Norris Cole explained LeBron's mindset going into that game and how he knew, oh, this dude's on something different tonight. 
as far as locked in, that most, that that, that might have been the most locked I've ever seen. That's the first time I never seen him laugh or smile before the game. Not one time. Not once. That not that day. Normally, <laughs> no, normally, you know, he always knows. Yeah, yeah, even yeah, if yeah. he rapping, like he listened to his headphones, or something yeah. he'd give a little giggle or he'd give a little, yeah, little yeah, something yeah. like that. But yeah. like this day, it wasn't a, a a snicker. It wasn't nothing. It was straight smoke. That that bean face, like mm-hmm. I was like, dang, like normally, you know, we have a little personality in the locker room, even if it's playoff. I'm like, I'm looking at him like, I ain't even talking to him. This can't ain't looking at nobody. This can't ain't laughing, joking. No eye contact with the meeting, nothing. He just over there in his, his zone. Was on, it, it was. His, his legacy was on the line. It was on the line. Bam, there you go. Man. And maybe I'm overstating it. Oof. Maybe Jay is a regular season game and, and it doesn't matter. But no, we can't have that tonight. Man. LeBron was locked in and his legacy could have changed because of that game. If they lose that game, he gets bounced. He comes up short again. The narrative continues. He's not a winner. You know, he doesn't get a championship. Then he went on and got his first championship. Norris Cole said, even in the locker room, nobody talked to LeBron. And that's what I'm saying tonight about De'Aaron Fox and DeMontis Sabonis and our stars. Normally, one of 82, Domas is playing with the wife and kids before the game. Foxy signing 50 autographs. They're a man of the people. They interact with the fan base. But on this night, Jay, on this night, Kings fans, I'm okay if Fox says, nope, don't have time for autographs. I'm okay if Doma says, sorry, honey, I'm driving myself to the game tonight. I'll see you after the game. I'm okay with the guys being locked in. And maybe I'm overstating this game's Kings fans. And if I am, please correct me. 916-339-1140. But the magnitude of this game, We go from probably being a playoff team in the playoffs to having fight for a play-in. I guarantee you, if De'Aaron Fox comes out like LeBron did in Game 6, 2012 against the Celtics, drops 45 and is clearly the best player on the floor, all that respect that we want from some of these national outlets, this is how you earn it. Remember, after we lost Tuesday night, what was the narrative? It was can the Mavericks make a deep playoff run. It was nothing about the Sacramento Kings. Jay, we need to go out there and earn it tonight. And I think it starts with the star players. I think it has to be De'Aaron Fox. And Domas has to be better than 3 of 10. We need to have the mindset. Trust me, I'm looking at Kyrie Irving right now. He's going through his warm-ups. Ain't no smiling. No high-fiving. The dude is locked in. This is not one of 82 Sacramento. Our guys got to be locked in tonight, Jay, and I need to see it right from the jump. So who's our guy that's going to put on the cape and say, follow me, boys. We're going to get the win. Man. To me, it has to be De'Aaron Fox tonight, Jay. Megadeth Knight says, uh, no correcting here, Drapes. Tonight, this is business. And uh, I, I'm with you, man. I, I don't even really need to to add anything. I think you put that that this whole soliloquy that you you jumped off here at the top of the four o'clock hour for me, man. And hopefully for the Sacramento Kings fans that are listening, like as someone said, we need drapes in the locker room. We need someone to take the top off right here, right now for the Sacramento Kings. And to uh, you know, to to give that pep that pep talk, that speech, man. Like I think there are times, and and Norris Cole said it. You know, there are times he named Jordan. This is the Jordan time. This is where Kobe becomes Kobe. This is where Allen Iverson becomes Allen Iverson. This is what people are asking for in Sacramento: a game to mean something, a game that is a must-win. A game where your back is against the wall and we really want to see what the Sacramento Kings, you know, are all about. Like we can be rah-rah, we can we can scream to our lungs are blue, black, and green. And I'm pretty sure yeah. I, I'll be down there. I'm pretty sure the rest of the fans, they're gonna be doing that. The G1C is gonna be rocking. I guarantee that. It's up to the players 
it's up to our stars to come out and perform to the best of their ability. And with the understanding, like, listen, this is the all the all be all, but this is going to be a part, as Tim McMahon said earlier in our show from ESPN, he's looking for a reason to say, DeMontis and De'Aaron, we can compare these guys to Kyrie and, and, and Luca. Mm. And so I think that's what we're, as Sacramento Kings fans, if nothing else, we're going to give you the mulligan on Tuesday. I don't want to say the spotlight was too big. I don't want to say you got caught, you know, deer in the headlights, you know, f- what it was it, five games and seven nights. Man, you've been sitting, right, like you right. said, in the comfy homes of your mansions, in the comfy homes of, your, uh, of, of you know, your feet are up on the ottoman. You probably got your personal chef cooking you the things that you want to cook. Your bank account look good. You know, you got time to come home, unpack your bag, wash your clothes, get your hair cut. Right. Man, today is the day. There's no more tomorrow, no more excuses. And I think that's part of what some of our Sacramento Kings fans are looking for. What they, We know they play another game, but they might not play another game of this magnitude this year until they get right. to the playoffs. We're looking for the win tonight, Drapes. I, I think you put it spot on, man. Dude, it's simple as this, Jay. You lose tonight, you got to hope for help. Yes. Think about that. Yes. You lose tonight. <laughs> we call it 9 one The Mavs collapse. We got we to gotta hope the Warriors beat the Mavericks. We got to hope uh, Detroit beats the Mavericks or whoever the Mavericks got on their schedule. Now we need hope, uh, help from other people. You win tonight, I don't need your help. Steph, I don't need you to drop 50. KD, I don't need you to do this. I'm taking it myself. That's what's on the line tonight if you're Sacramento. I'm going to open up the phone lines, Jay. 916-339-1140. 916-339-1140. Kings fans, how are you feeling about tonight? Who needs to have the LeBron James game from 2012? Is it our guy De'Aaron Fox? Might it be Domas? I want to hear from you. You're talking to Drapes and Jay here. On the drive, guys, Sacktown Sports, 1140. We are down to the final 10 games of the NBA's regular season. Each one sharing in its importance, but tonight feels massive as the Kings host the Dallas Mavericks. One dribble only. Hands it off to Fox. Great pass inside, and a twisting reverse is scored by Davion Mitchell. Sacramento looks to take the season series and own the tiebreaker against the Mavs. Tip-off tonight at 7 on your home of the Kings, Sacktown Sports. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Drapes, Kyle Draper here from Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. You know, there's nothing like getting a massage on my way to work. I know it sounds crazy, but my new ride has seats that massage my back. Leave it to Mercedes-Benz. I've had my new EQS SUV for a few months now, and it's the most gorgeous and sophisticated vehicle I've ever had. I've owned electric cars before, but Mercedes-Benz has set a new standard on how awesome an electric car can be. I never stress about battery charging, and it's got remarkably long range, and it is easy easy to charge. Now, if you can plug in your hair dryer in the morning, you can plug in this car. It's very simple. And the timing is perfect. It's Mercedes Madness Month at Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. Enjoy up to $19,000 in Mercedes-Benz incentives on select new vehicles, plus a complimentary home charger and two years of prepaid maintenance. And they've got certified pre-owned Mercedes vehicles as low as 1.99% APR for qualified buyers. It's Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. It's just a short 30-minute drive from Sacramento right off I-5 or online at mbfstockton.com. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has a selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. Based on 2022 total new and Honda certified pre-owned vehicle car sales from American Honda Motor Company's own report.
on the drive, guys. Sacktown Sports, 1140. I'm going to tell you what, Kings fans. We're nearing tip-off between the Kings and the Mavericks. I'm sitting here. Kyrie Irving is right in front of me. I'm at the concourse level. He's down on the floor warming up, and he's knocking down shot after shot after shot. This dude is locked in. We need somebody to step up defensively for the Kings and let them know this ain't sweet out here. You're going to have to earn this. You're going to have to you, you're going to have to shoot over two or three hands out here because the Dallas Mavericks, let's be honest. They've won nine out of their last 10. They, they, they're playing great basketball. They're coming off a big win Tuesday night. They've been in your city eating at your restaurants, eating your food, enjoying your weather outside of today in the rain. They've been out there in these streets. But now we got to send them home where we take the power away from them. I said it before the break, guys. We win tonight. We control our path through the last nine games. We lose tonight. We got to hope for some help. We got to hope the Warriors help us or, 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 or the Wizards help us or somebody. The Rockets. Rockets, yes. We got we to hope the Rockets. Same team that has slapped us around. Now we rooting for them. Right. Now we begging them for some help. Forget that, Jay. Why don't we take it tonight? Who's going to be our LeBron Game 6 2012? Is it going to be De'Aaron Fox, DeMontis Sabonis? RJ over here brought up a good point. He's like, I'm just hoping it's somebody. <laughs> and it doesn't even have to be the stars, Jay. Sure. A, a quick story here. Game 7, 2017 Eastern Conference Semifinals. Washington Wizards, Boston Celtics. Celtics won 115-105. Bradley Beal had 38 in that game in a losing effort. Our guy, Isaiah Thomas, the pizza guy, had 29. But you know what that game is being remembered for in Boston? It's called the Kelly Olenek Wow. Game. Why? Because he scored 26 in a game seven. Whose game is it going to be tonight? And I said to RJ, you have a chance to make a, a statement for your legacy tonight. What if Malik Monk comes out and drops a 35 piece and the Kings win? Fans will for always remember that. What if it's Keegan Murray hitting seven threes? Fans will remember that. Somebody has to step up and say, guys, we got this. Hop on my back and let's get it done. I'm going to hit the phone lines right now. Nine one, I'm, I'm upset. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I'm ready to get this game started. 916-339-1140. Mike, you're on with Drapes and Jay here on The Drive Guys, Sacktown Sports. What's up, Mike? Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, I don't want to be greedy, but why can't it be D? Everybody get it going tonight. Play off each other's energy. And I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember, John Matuzak would, uh, would get into his game face back in the day and on Wednesday his wife would have to get the kids and go to her mom's house because he was destroying the house <laughs> and getting ready for Sunday's game. You guys remember hearing That's those what stories? I'm talking about, Mike. Yeah. I, I, so, I feel you on that, I, Mike. I, yes. <laughs> I don't want to be greedy, but you know the talent is there. You know these guys can play off each other and when one guy starts hitting it, let it rain. Let it storm up and rain all over the Mavericks tonight. Appreciate it, Mike. You're 100% right. I would love if everybody's clicking. We up by 30 going into the fourth. Right. You know, and it's a party out here, right? Like, Why can't we have that game? I was going to say the right? same thing, Drake says. Why can't we do what they just did to us on Tuesday? Mm. Mm. That's a great point, man. Why can't we? Why not? You know, and somebody on the text line, 916, this is your game seven. This is a shot to become an icon. Think about it. I just mentioned it. If somebody goes off, let's say Chris Duarte hits six threes. Dog, Chris Duarte ain't going to have to buy a meal in this town again. Like, we, <laughs> we're going to remember, yo, that Chris Duarte game? Remember right, that game? gets the Mavs? We need it. That's, right, that's what I'm saying. That's what kind of game it is tonight. You know, somebody from the 831, Malik is due to snap this mini slump. Uh, 831, in the words of Marshawn Lynch, it's time to protect your chickens. That's what I'm talking about. And I want to see the focus right from the jump, right when these guys walk in here. Nobody's warming up yet for the Sacramento Kings. We got Kyrie out here still by himself, but I'm ready for this game. 
Let's get back to the phone lines. 916-339-1140. Let's check it with our guy, TC. TC, you're on with Drapes and Jay. What's up? What's up, bros? Check it, man. Look, I'm going to keep it real short and sweet tonight. We need everybody. Look, Drapes, it can't just, we're not looking. We're looking for a LeBron. We're looking for the whole team to be a LeBron. We can't focus on Doma, Fox, you draw 40, because then everybody going to take the back seat. We need everybody to feel like they that dude tonight. Everybody feel like, you know what? I'm going to go out and drop 50, and I'm going to help the team. I promise you we're going to win tonight, bro. That's all I got. I love that, TC. That's all. Oh, it's short. That's what – you know what, though, Jay? That's what I'm talking about. TC is focused. It don't. It, it ain't about the words, Jay. It ain't about the talk. Yeah. It ain't a, it's about going out there and get it done. Even TC understands that. TC said, "I'm not the. I'm not in the mood to play with you today. I'm coming in nice, <laughs> short, quick. Not even sweet. I'm coming in mean. Look, real fast. Everybody, come play tonight, and I'm out." Exactly. That's how it got to be. It's not about words. Like Norris Cole said with LeBron James, nobody talked to him. There was no smiles in the locker room, nothing like that. That's how it got to be tonight for the Sacramento Kings. Back to the phone line. David, you're on with Drapes and Jay. It's the Drive Guys here on Sactown Sports 1140. Yo, let's go, Drapes. You're on one today, boy. You make me want to run through walls over here. <laughs> Let's do it, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, I'm about to say, hey, if Fox gets this night, it's like, everybody gets it. You know what? Out the way, let Fox do his thing and be even – he'll be the best player on the court tonight. He's 40-plus and show him what's up. I agree with you, David. And, and here's why. Because we know De'Aaron Fox can get to that level. We've seen him do it before. We've seen him stand toe-to-toe with Steph Curry. He almost won that series last year with a broken hand, a fractured uh, finger. Here's the thing, man. De'Aaron Fox, remember against Lonzo Ball in the NCAA tournament? He lit him up. That's what we need for De'Aaron Fox tonight. He needs to look at Kyrie, look at Luka, and say, you're my Lonzo Ball. Whatever it takes to get him motivated, because we believe De'Aaron Fox can be that guy. Former number five overall pick, stud at Kentucky, all NBA last season. These are the kind of games, to Tim McMahon's point from ESPN earlier when he came on the drive, guys. These are the kind of games that can really impact your legacy. And think about it from a Sacramento Kings standpoint, if you will, people out there. 916-339-1140. I want to hear from you guys. Think about it like this. What's the narrative about the Kings last season? Nice story. Ended the drought. Great. If you go out there and make the playoffs again, back-to-back playoff years for the Sacramento Kings, now you're doing something. Now you're showing the world it's not just a fluke. Now you're showing the world, uh-oh, here we come. We here to stay. And that's why this game is so important. Who's going to be the dude that steps up? Everybody says, oh, let's have the whole team. I'm all for it. I want everybody to be on one tonight. I'm already on one. Jay's on one. RJ's on one. We need the players to be on one. Coming up, we continue to take your phone calls, checking the YouTube chat and the text line. Who needs to step up for the Sacramento Kings? How big is this game? Let's go. One more hour of the drive, guys, here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry. You never have to miss them again. Check out SacktownSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and the Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire. Return of the Roar, the Stingers Up podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SacktownSports.com. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. 
Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Fiddy and Fiber, Dawson Oil Company, and Good Guys Heating and Cooling. Go for it! Take your base! The only thing worse than a pitcher running out of gas on the mound is your old phone running out of storage for your photos in the stands. Goodbye, home run! Switch to Verizon and get a great deal on a new iPhone 15 Pro with tons of storage for all the ballpark picks you want. Just trade in your iPhone, any model, in any condition, so you'll feel like you're winning, even when your team's not. Trade in any iPhone in any condition for a great deal on iPhone 15 Pro with Unlimited Ultimate and get iPad and Apple Watch SE with eligible service plan, only on Verizon. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Arch support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Arch support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention, anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, or other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-906-5382. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-906-5382 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, or other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-906-5382. 800-906-5382. 800-906-5382. Like the bean for Sacramento King. Sacramento King. Your home for Kings basketball for over 25 seasons. Sacktown Sports. Sacramento Kings. Let's go one hour away from game night here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Drapes and Jay here with you. We got Kings versus Mavericks. All right. Tim Hart. Hey, Jay, if you want to keep that rocking, we could do that, big fella. Oh, man, you know we that's do. That's what we do. In. Yeah. If, hey, man, this is what we do. We about lighting the beam tonight, Sacramento. And you know what I love right now, Jay? I feel the energy from the people. I feel the energy from the city. I feel the energy from the people on the YouTube chat. Sacktown Sports 1140, follow us. I feel the people on the text line. I feel the people in their cars driving in Sacramento right now on their way to the arena. I say get in your seats nice and early. Get your food nice and early. Get your popcorn ready. Your boy already got, see, you got the bucket ready. I got the bucket. <laughs> I'll tell you what, real quickly about this. This bucket is fresh popcorn, bro. Like, it tastes like they just popped it, put it in the bucket, and brought it over. You know, the box stuff, as nice as it is, I'm not complaining. Yep, yep. But, you know, they pop it in the morning and box it up, you know? Yeah, it ain't so warm. This, this, you don't bucket. feel the heat like a, like when you take a, right. a load out the dryer. You don't feel the heat on your hands. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. Exactly. Now, this is like some movie theater popcorn I got right here. Oh, that's, but that's, how, that's the kind of night this is, right, guys? 
We uh, the popcorn got to be even better tonight. The drinks got to be flowing tonight. Yeah, get a little heavy Chef handed out there at the G1C. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Everything got to be better tonight. I'm telling you, man. The ticket takers got to be a little, little, little on edge. You know what I mean? A little spicy. Somebody come in with a Mavs uniform. You gotta give them some. Remember, I was in Minnesota, and I was going through security, and the girl was like, "You from Sacramento?" Well, I hope you leave here with this L. And I was like, dang, you're supposed to be the security. Why are you all worried? <laughs> That's how we got to be tonight. That's We got to talk. We got to talk our talk and walk our walk tonight, man. We need to have one of those nights where this is the biggest regular season game in Sacramento in a number of years. I can't remember. And I know we still will probably have another big regular season game. When we play Phoenix, that's going to be a massive regular season game. When you play New Orleans, that's going to be massive. But for right now, this is the biggest regular season game since I've been here tonight as you take on Tim Hardaway Jr. who's warming up right now yeah. in the Dallas Mavericks. Hey, Drapes, I'll say this, too. I think it really is yeah. for me. And you've been here four years, right? This is your fourth year? Yeah, my fourth, yeah, fourth year. Yeah. And, and last year, the Kings were kind of already situated in that three spot. You know, they were pretty much locked mm -hmm. in, kind of coming down. Remember, they lost the last three games, and they kind of just – you know, melded in the last three games last year. So yep. they were locked in the third. Like right now, it, it today means something. You know, it really, really means something. And I'm with you, man. I think it's a super important day uh, when it comes to, you know, the, the next steps and the progression of not only this season, but this is the type of games that follow you throughout your career, especially right. when, you you know, you're making 100 million plus. That's just what it is. Yeah. No, you're, you're right. And, and, and it, it's it's such a big difference between the sixth seed and even the seventh and eighth seed in today's NBA. If you earn the sixth seed, that means you worked for it and earned it from your hard work all 82. If you get the seventh or eighth seed, uh, you just got hot at the right time and you know you 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 had you made it into the playoffs. Like if I'm the Kings, getting that sixth seed means something. What? Let's Let's say, but Jay, let, hear me. Of course. Out. Let's say they do go to the play, -in, and then they advance out of the play -in and wind up the eighth seed. It's the playoffs, yes, but it's not. It, it's it's a different feel, man. It's just a different feel by being one of the top six. If you're one of the top six, you know what it is. It's March Madness right now, right? NCAA tournament. Yeah. The difference between the top six and the play-in is making the tournament or being in the play-in in Dayton. Yeah. You know that Tuesday game? Yes, in Dayton, Tuesday, Ohio? Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're part of it, yes, <laughs> but it, not, let's keep it real. You got to win through to actually get to the day. Right. You know? Like, I want to be one of those teams chilling, sitting back, watching those teams trying to fight their way into why they got to get the club you know why, they got, <laughs> why they got the play-in game in Dayton man what's well, gotta be in Dayton right, right, you, gotta go to you know what I mean you you see Santa Barbara you gotta go all the way to Dayton <laughs> to try and qualify for the tournament nah you know what it is too Jay you are you've been in these streets I've been in these streets before it's like knowing you go into the club and you know the promoter or you mm. go into the club and you got bottle service already lined up. You already yeah. got a table. That's right. Versus going to the club, trying to get in before 11, hoping to get in. You're on that guest you list. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> You're on the guest list. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, and, and you got to get there before 11. Because if you get there after 11, you ain't getting it's in. Over. That's what the plan is. The plan is waiting in line in the guest list, hoping to get in before 11. The top six means you in the club. You got the bottle service already set up. Your boy is DJing. I'm standing you on the, the couch. Promoter. You standing on the couch? You standing on the yeah, couch? Yeah, I belong, man. I'm letting folks know that's I'm belonging I'm here, Drapes. I'm out here, man. That's, that's the type of night I'm talking about. I need the Kings to stand on the couch. Be almost disrespectful. You know, nowadays, exactly. the, bo the bottles come the bottles come with sparklers and all that. I don't want my bottles yeah. with no sparkler tonight. Just just oh, go ahead. I don't want tonight. no sparklers tonight. No, nah, I don't want nobody to come through. Turn the sparklers off. Just bring it to me and watch me stand on the couch. 
Oh my god. That's how I'm getting down tonight. I tell you, hey, your boy was out last night a little bit. I went to Park Ultra Lounge. And okay, I was okay. On the couches. I didn't have no bottles because you know I I wasn't right. Drinking, you don't do that. I was right. looking at the. I don't do that. But I was looking at the 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 other people who were at the bar trying to order drinks. Right. I'm like, man, I'm glad I ain't Good there. Luck. That's what the playing versus the playoffs right. is about. You got to wait in line to order your drinks when you in the playoffs. The table is already set up. The drinks are already at the table. You got the bottle girl right there with you. That's what the Kings need to be about tonight. Sure, you still in the club if you can make it through the play-in, but you're in the general admission section. You ain't in the, the reserve seating section. That's what we need from the Kings tonight, that mentality. I want to be on the reserve list. I want to already know I have my spot. I don't want to have to earn my spot. I don't want to have to battle it out with Steph, LeBron, and all those guys just to get into the club. So I need the Sacramento Kings to put on their cape tonight. I need somebody to step up. Whose game is it going to be? Is it going to be Gary? Is it going to be Domas? Is it going to be Keegan? Some people say it's going to be Malik Monk. I don't care who it is, but somebody got to have a big game tonight and say, we are not losing tonight's game. Jay, let's get to the phone lines. 916-339- 1140 1140 Eddie, you're on with Drapes and Jay here on Sacktown Sports 1140. What's up, man? What's up, man? You hopping in your car. What's going on? We out here in Stockton, man. I've been following the team since like 94. First game I remember, I went to go see uh, the Pacers, Reggie Miller. I went and seen them coming out the bus. Larry Bird was the coach at the time, man. I still remember that like it was yesterday. So check this out, man. Tonight, I feel like it's Keegan Murray night. He's going to have a hot 35 points. And then De'Aaron Fox is going to close it out in the fourth quarter. And definitely some bonus. He's just going to do his thing. He's going to have a 18, 15 boards, 10 dimes. And we're going to take it. We're going to win by a good eight points today, man. Write it down. Put that one in the book. I like that. Eddie, I like that. I like his confidence. He's been down since day one, basically, and I'm with you. If it's Keegan Murray having a big game, Fox closing him out, and Domas doing Domas things. Look up, and Domas got 20, 15, and 11. I'll take that, and the Kings get a win. Let's get to George now. George, you're on with Drapes and Jay. It's the Drive Guys here on Sacktown Sports 1140. All right, guys. I really love your show. What's up? But – in Thanks, order, George. in order for us to win, in order for us to win this game, the big three has to perform. Sabonis has to shoot fifty-five to sixty percent, giving you twenty points, fifteen rebounds, and twelve assists. Fox needs to give you around thirty points. Monk needs to give you somewhere between twenty-two and twenty-five points. The team needs to shoot around forty-five percent. And from threes, you need to be able to shoot around 38%. And you need to hold the Mavs to around 45%. If you do that, you're going to win this game. The rest of the team, uh, it's a crap shoot. It's Vegas time. I'm not exactly sure who's going to come up. But the big three has to perform. And if they're not performing with the rate that I think they should perform, I don't know if it's going to be a good night for us, guys. Thank you. All right, George. Appreciate the Dang, call, man. Hey, George came with the specific The analytics. Part. Yeah, he must be out there. He must got a MacBook and be out there with some of the assistants on the sideline, man. I like how George, he done broke it down. But I understand. And, that, you know, let me say this, Drapes. That's the passion, the, the continued passion uh, of what George is exemplifying, you know, as Sacramento Kings fans, man. Like, I, I love that. He's breaking down, as Alex talked about. He's like, look, I see an eight-point victory in it because of this and because of that. And that's what we're looking for, and that's what we're expecting from, you know, the fellas that don the jerseys, you know, just like my boy Drapes got the De'Aaron Fox on tonight. Yeah, got the De'Aaron Fox. I got the shooting sleeve just in case they need somebody. The sleeve three. is I cold, the man. I, who, the the sleeve, like the sleeve is, right? Uh, you said Mo hooked you up with the sleeve? Yeah, Mo hooked me up okay. with the sleeve. Okay, like, man. It's a little tight, but it's all good. It, it still works. Absolutely, still works. man. Now you got to rock that when you go to Lifetime. <laughs> just once. <laughs> just one time. Just wear it once. You don't and do that. <laughs> 
I had a sleeve, the wristband, <laughs> like the who is this dude? Yeah, yeah, boy. Like white men can't jump. I'm gonna be out there, boy. Like Billy Hoyle or whatever his name <laughs> is, man. I'm gonna be taking these fools. Hey, Jay, let's take a quick one. We'll come back. Ramsey is still hanging on, I believe. Ramsey, we'll get to you. Hit us up. I see the high flyer in the building. He'll be joining us at the top of the hour, probably. 916-339-1140. It's the drive guys here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave inviting you to make the switch to electric this spring and save big with American energy. Stay ahead of those spiking energy bills this summer with up to nine grand in rebates on a new ultra high efficiency comfort system. American Energy is providing huge rebates from SMUD as well as spring specials by installing one of many incredibly efficient AC options available to you right now. Get rid of those fluctuating gas bills in the winter and switch to year-round all-electric with American Energy. Let them perform a free in-home energy efficiency analysis and see where they can help you save for the warmer months ahead. These guys are the best. Been serving the greater Sacramento area since 1981. A plus from the Better Business Bureau. Learn more by calling 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990. Call 916-520-9990. Hi, this is Scott Trout of Cordell & Cordell. There are a lot of great dads out there. Sometimes those dads get divorced. For more than 30 years, we've represented men in divorce, confronting the pitfalls that could devastate your finances or harm your family relationships. While every situation is different, our goal is to get the best outcome for you and your kids. Visit CordellCordell.com to take the first step. 500 Capital Mall, Suite 2120, Sacramento, California, 95814. Online at CordellCordell.com. Heard the catchphrase that's sweeping the nation? Jackson, Hugh, yeah. People are saying Jackson Hue yeah to Jackson Hewitt because they love saving money on tax prep. Do you love saving money? Then switch to Jackson Hewitt today and pay less than last year. Thousands of people have already made the switch. Why haven't you? Stop waiting and start filing. You won't get a better deal or a better catchphrase. All together now. Jackson Hue yeah! Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. A lot can happen between falling in love with a house online and owning it. Between imagining living there and breathing in your new home for the first time. Having an advocate who can help you navigate the complex world of financing, inspections, negotiating, analyzing the market, and talking through any anxieties that may pop up, that can make all the difference. That's what the expertise of a Realtor can do for you. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors and bound by a code of ethics. Because that's who we are. Progressive presents Precious Moments. Yeah, I caught my first fish, Dad! Great job, buddy. He's a beauty. Thanks for taking me fishing. Love you, Dad. I love you too, son. The exchange you just heard didn't actually happen, but it could. Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive and you could use the savings to make sure the boat's always ready for those magical father-son moments. Who knows, maybe someday he'll actually like fishing. So keep the dream alive and the savings coming with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Beach Head Deli on 711 K Street is now your place to go in downtown Sacramento prior to all the games, concerts, and events. Conveniently located just across the street from the arena, Beach Head Deli features the finest gourmet sandwiches and craft beverages anywhere. Beach Head Deli at 711 K Street is also your premier lunch destination seven days a week. Come by and say hi to new owner Brad Wakai. He's so excited to take care of all your taste bud needs. That's Beach Head Deli at 711 K Street in Sacramento. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Drapes, Kyle Draper. As the proud sponsor of the Sacramento Kings Mop Crew, Alsco Uniforms offers certified hygienically clean lab coats, scrubs, bed linens, towels, floor mats, and an array of mops tailored for your healthcare facility. Our services include convenient delivery to your doorstep. Leading the way in healthcare laundry services in Northern California, discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco uniforms. Go to Alsco.com to learn more. Again, that's ALSCO.com. Rivercats fans, it's time to celebrate our 25th anniversary in Sacramento. Regular season baseball returns to Sutter Health Park on Friday, March 29th. The opening weekend festivities include a live DJ and happy hour in Elysian Landing on Smud Orange Friday. Sandlot Night on Sutter Hell Fireworks Saturday, and Easter at the Ballpark on Sunday Fun Day. To view the complete 2024 schedule and to purchase tickets, visit RiverCats.com. We'll see you there. Howdy-do. Howdy-do. 
Your flagship station for the Beam Team, Sacktown Sports. When I walk the city, I'ma rock the baby. Got a classic leather with a classic weather. I'm on top of Lash Bayakovich. Too fast, 55. 55. White Ooh, that's right that there. hot fire right there. We are getting pumped up for a massive game tonight between the Kings and the Mavericks here inside Golden One Center. Drapes and Jay hanging with you till 5.30. That's when the High Flyer and Scott Marsh take over with game night as they lead you up to tip off between the Kings and the Mavericks. Must win Sacramento as the Kings are looking to take the season series from Dallas. You know, we've been talking the last hour or so, which player needs to step up? Who needs to have a big game? Who needs to put on the cape and carry the Kings to a win? Does it need to be De'Aaron Fox? Does it need to be uh, DeMontis Sabonis, Keegan Murray? People out there are saying, you know what, on the 916, they need to play like game six in Oakland last year. And I agree with that. They were uh, backs against the wall. You got to win it. And Davion stepped up big. Maybe it's an off night kind of night tonight. And Ooh, so I'm wow, looking at High Flyer. That. He'll be joining us. Yeah, right? Look at High Flyer chopping it up with uh, Jason Kidd over here. Yeah, you know, they town business. To happen. Yeah, that's that's Oak Town. I, I'm going to let, let that Not tonight, right though. You're not, you're not trying to have that tonight that's, is what you're saying. Oh, uh, yeah, we yeah, holding him accountable, right, Jay? And, and I'm, I'm gonna hold him accountable when he come up here. I'm like, you fraternizing with Jason Kidd, you chopping it up, smiling and laughing and talking about high school days and growing up on the block and everything. No, it's about business tonight. It's about coming out and getting the win tonight. And I see you guys out there on the YouTube chat and on the text line. Uh, somebody said, Jay, chill with these analogies, man. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> Our club analogies and everything. Hey, I'm just saying, it's man, true, we've all been there. <laughs> we all been there before, right? On both sides of it. You know what I mean? Both sides. And we know which side feels better and which side doesn't. Let's get back to the phone lines, man. 916-339-1140. Let's go to Ramsey. Ramsey, you're on with Drapes and Jay. What's happening, man? Not too much, gentlemen. All I got to say is for tonight, we the Kings need to be in the same mode. As Houston and Duke, North Carolina State and Marquette, Purdue and Gonzaga, both men and women, Creighton and Tennessee, what South Carolina just did by four, what Oregon State just did earlier in the day, what Texas women are hoping to try to do, and what the North Carolina State women in Stanford are hoping to try to do. The theme of March, survive in advance. That's all I ask for. However you get it done, like Malcolm X says, by any means necessary, figure it out, find a way to win, find a way to survive, survive in advance tonight, and move on to Sunday against Utah. Ramsey, appreciate it, man. Like like our co-host Kevin Whitey Gleason says, at this stage of the game, at this stage of the season, there are no ugly wins and no pretty losses. Mm. You just got to win. You just got to get it done. And let's be honest, Jay. We know this game counts for two. Yes. This isn't just, you know what I mean? It's just not one game in the standings. No, it's a game in the standings, and you own the tiebreaker against these guys. Yeah. And so I'm watching yeah. guys warm up. We got Kessler Edwards out here. Davion's out here. The thing I like, and we played some De'Aaron Sound uh, earlier tonight. And, and Jay, we uh, I, uh, never two of De'Aaron Fox because got he understands not only tonight, but also the rest of this season. Like for the Kings, let's keep it real. The playoffs have already begun. Yes. You don't want to be a 7, 8, 9, or 10. You, you Every game matters, and you're not the only one. It started for Dallas. It started for the Pelicans. Think about this, Jay. When you look at the Western Conference, is there anybody that feels comfortable with where they are at right now? Meaning. They could take their foot off the gas. The entire conference, 11 teams have no idea which seed they're going to be. And I can't remember a time this late into the NBA season where, sure, OKC knows they're going to be in the playoffs. Minnesota, they know. But they don't know which seed they are. Yeah. So they still have something to play for, Jay. Everybody. It's a great point, Drapes. You got people fighting for 
first place, like OKC, Minneapolis, or I should say Minnesota and Denver, they're fighting for first place. You have the Pelicans, you have the Clippers fighting for fourth and fifth. And then at the same time, you got Dallas Pelicans, Phoenix, you know, and Sacramento fighting to, to, to fall into the sixth spot. And so, and then at the same time, you even got the Rockets chasing the Warriors. You know, it, it, everybody has uh, their eye going forward. Everybody is looking behind them. You know, everybody's got their shades on because they don't want no, they're not trying to give a tail. There's no telltale sign, you know, <laughs> which way you're looking like you're at the poker table. Yep. And, and I'm with you, man. You just don't know you know, how all of this is going to shake out. And that's why you have games like tonight that mean, you know, the ultimate. It's the ultimate prize. Go out and get the W. Then tomorrow, you know, as they say, you don't want to celebrate wins for too long, but you look at who's around you, what they did tonight. OKC playing Phoenix tonight is huge when it comes to the Sacramento Kings. And so get the win. You feel better about yourself when you go home and maybe they do go to the club tonight. And if not, you know, tomorrow when you wake up, you're looking around and feeling better about yourself compared to what they did, you know, Wednesday morning when they got smoked by almost 40 or 40 piece. Yeah. You know, and and, and that's the thing, Jay, and you know, you feel it too. Yeah. It's a difference waking up in sixth place versus eighth place. For sure. Like it's a real difference, man. When you wake up in six, you feeling good. You're like, yes, we're in sixth place. We're in. When you wake up in eighth, you're like, man, we got some work to do. <laughs> we, 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 you know how to seriously, it, like, <laughs> it, 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 that's how it is, man. It, it's, 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 it, it's so massive, just even from a psychological standpoint. And, and I, I see the people on the text line right here. Uh, the dude who called, this is somebody from the 916, the dude who called before the break. Just shows how little people appreciate Domas. How many dudes in the league can you say, we need 20 points, 15 rebounds, and 12 assists from you tonight? Only one. People got to respect what this man does night in and night out. And I hear you, 916. Yeah. But I need it. I need it tonight. We need another one. I don't care what Domas did. Yeah, we need another one. Like, more so than any night this season, we need Domas to be that dude. We need him to be that guy. Somebody from the 916. Guys, I'll be looking for Jay standing on the couch tonight. Where are we at tonight, Jay? Which uh, couch we standing yeah, on, I, big fella? Where I, I, know, I know you'll be in the NBC booths. So I'll be in uh, Section 110, so I'm standing on my – I'm going to be standing on my uh, my couch in Section 110 tonight. 110. Yeah, okay. yeah. Come okay. check me 110. I'm on the couch. I'm, you know, I'm a, I, like I said, I don't want the sparklers to come near me tonight. I want no sparklers <laughs> near me tonight. Zero. You know what I mean? Now, if you want to come stand on the couch with me, let's get it going. I, I, I really feel this way, Drapes. I think the G1C, and I saw, I think it was Alex on the YouTube who said this. And shots out before we move any further to all the people that's watching us on uh, live via Twitter, too, man, on X. You know, Twitter, we, yes. we see 300 folks on that way rocking. But Alex said tonight, Arco vibes. We're looking for Arco Ooh. vibes. Mm. Yes, I, I'm, I'm, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. And uh, people over here on the YouTube chat, uh, Drapes off night is going off tonight. Uh, I'm with it. I'm rocking with it. Uh, somebody, uh, Steven said, I was listening on my way to work and getting hyped. Now I'm home through on YouTube and Drapes fit got me juice. <laughs> I'm going to shower up and match your drink. That's Let's right. go, baby. We got to eat tonight, Sacramento. <laughs> Jay, I'm ready. I see you, man. MC Cal I'm talking ready, about drapes fit is sick. Sick with yeah. about 18 <laughs> eyes in there, man. Everybody. But you know what, drapes? You know what yeah. you did? You came out earlier and you set the precedent. And I think that's what you're yeah. asking for. That's what we've been talking about right. all day. We had Norris Cole on, who was, or not, excuse me, not on our show, but he was talking about something that you had brought up is you got to be fixed and focused. And in 2012, when LeBron won his first championship, when he had to come into the TD Garden, that game six, I believe, uh, when they were down 3-2 yep. uh, when he was playing for Miami yep. and he put up 45 that night. And you could see something was different in LeBron that night, like it was, and Norris Cole said it, the legacy was on the line. He hadn't won a first championship. They had just came off a loss to the Dallas Mavericks, albeit, you know, a coincidence in the NBA finals. And so that's what we're looking for. And and not only 
from the players we're looking for the fans we're looking for the fans that's going to be at home you know man shouts out to drapes for rocking man you set the precedent early today brother <laughs> you did hey that I, I told you man i'm coming into this building standing on business and that's what we need from De'Aaron Fox, Domas, and the rest of the guys. All right, coming up next, back to the phone lines, 916-339-1140. Somehow I'll get High Flyer uh, away from Jason Kidd. They're still chopping it up down there on the floor. He'll be jumping on with us as well as we take you up to game night coming up at the bottom of the hour. You're on with the Drive Guys here on Sactail Sports 1140. The Sacramento Kings play here. He got the triple. Sacramento takes the lead. Get your Kings fix all season long right here on your home of the Sacramento Kings. Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kyle Draper here from Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. If you're an entrepreneur with a vehicle fleet, I'll tell you that outfitting your van fleet with Mercedes-Benz vans is a very smart business move. Here's why. If you use it for business, you'll likely qualify for substantial tax breaks. Plus, they're rugged, sophisticated cargo haulers that you will love driving. You'll also love the way these things look with your company logo on them. And finally, it is Mercedes Madness season. That's right. Rates are available starting at 4 4.9% APR. Choose from any of 60 vans available right now at Mercedes-Benz of Stockton's Commercial Fleet Center next to their stunning new showroom. These folks wrote the book on what true customer service looks like. I'm a car and truck enthusiast, and I mean it when I tell you that the customer service you can expect at Mercedes-Benz of Stockton is the best. Go see their beautiful new Mercedes showroom just a half hour from SAC, right off 55, online as well at mbfstockton.com. Sacramento sports fans, get ready to score big with the Sacktown Sports live events calendar. We're bringing you the hottest acts and the biggest concerts all season long. First off, on May 10th, it's a night of laughs as Pete Davidson takes the stage at Hard Rock Live. It's comedy gold in a night you won't want to miss. Visit hardrockhotelsacramento.com for tickets. And June 8th, Live Nation brings NF to the Golden One Center as he lights up the stage with his high energy performance. Visit Live Nation or Ticketmaster.com to score your tickets today. But wait, the fun doesn't stop there. On August 4th, don't miss the Outlaw Music Festival at the Toyota Amphitheater. Featuring legends like Willie Nelson, Bob Dylan, and John Mellencamp, it's a concert experience that'll rock your world. And looking ahead to August 22nd, get ready to kick up some dust with Creed Fisher at Ace of Spades. Presented by Live Nation. Keep the adrenaline pumping, Sacramento. Visit SacktownSports.com for all the details and ticket information. The Sacktown Sports Live Events Calendar, your ultimate guide to the hottest shows and events in town. Stay tuned to Sacktown Sports for exclusive updates and your chance to win tickets. Jerry and Kenny here. When you call Bell Brothers for an AC tune-up, repair, or replacement, let me tell you what you can expect. Clean. Our technicians will show up in a company truck that's clean inside and out. They'll be wearing a clean uniform and ring your doorbell with clean hands. The technician will be clean cut, background checked, drug tested, and trustworthy to enter your home. They'll put on clean shoe covers and put down drop cloths in all work areas. That's right, to make sure your home stays clean. And when the work is complete, they'll tidy up and leave the work area cleaner than they found it. Call us neat freaks. Call us spick and spin. Call us tidy, pristine, and immaculate. But whatever you do, call Bell Brothers for an AC tune-up and repairs. Because with us, you can count on it being clean. Call us at 916-444-1234 or find us online at thenosurpriseguys.com. The No Surprise Guys, Bell Brothers. Beachhead Deli on 711K Street is now your place to go in downtown Sacramento prior to all the games, concerts, and events. Conveniently located just across the street from the arena, Beachhead Deli features the finest gourmet sandwiches and craft beverages anywhere. Beachhead Deli at 711K Street is also your premier lunch destination seven days a week. Come by and say hi to new owner Brad Wakai. He's so excited to take care of all your taste bud needs. That's Beachhead Deli at 711K Street in Sacramento. This is for the men who never settle, the ones who believe only quitters and a game and a tie. The type of guys who choose the bar with the biggest TVs to overcompensate for theirs at home, and the men who use PTO to catch afternoon basketball in March with the boys. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Who wants to settle for a single TV? With more TVs, bigger screens, plus our fabulous scenic views, there's more to watch at Twin Peaks. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop.
Live and local, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday. Sac Town Sports. I feel good. I mean, I think uh, especially, obviously, with, what, with what's on the line and uh, us being able to get the tiebreaker if we're able to win this game uh, is definitely big for us. And um, we, we came in, we cleaned stuff up. We had two days uh, between the game, and uh, we just have to be ready for tonight. That's De'Aaron Fox understanding the magnitude of tonight's game. As we continue here on the Drive Guys, Sacktown Sports 1140 coming up bottom of the hour. It is game night with the high flyer himself and Scott Marsh. High flyer making his way up here. I do know he has stopped talking to Jason Kidd. So that combo is done. He's about to walk up right now looking like Debo. We'll get him on here in a minute. Let's jump back on the phone lines right now. 916-339-1140. Ashley, you're on with Drapes and Jay. What's happening? You're on Sacktown Sports yeah. 1140. Not a whole lot. It's actually funny. I was also over on the uh, YouTube uh, YouTube waiting, and uh, I had posted what I was part of what I was going to say, but you guys didn't get to it, which is great. Uh, but I was going to say I actually have a good chance because Fox in his last seven, despite only having 18 in his last game against Dallas, he is averaging 31.9 against Dallas in his last seven. And uh, seven isn't some arbitrary number. Seven would put us at the timeline of when Domas first arrived in Sacramento. And um, so with that, we could see a good game from De'Aaron. And not only that, but Keegan in four out of his last seven and four out of his last six at home has gone for at least 16. Ah, so you crunched the numbers. You looked at the numbers. Appreciate that, Ashley. Yeah, De'Aaron Fox, that's what we've been saying. We need a game like that from De'Aaron Fox, a 30-plus point game, be the best player on the floor, carry the squad to a win. Let's get to one more call here, 916-339-1140. Jake, you're on with Drapes and Jay. What's happening? Hey, Drapes. Hey, hey guys. How you doing? I appreciate you taking my call. I wanted to uh, – I, I, I just wanted to chime in. I, I think – you know, we, we have a, a tendency as fans here in the Sacramento area to focus too much on every single game, I, I think. And that, that's that's part and parcel to just being a fan, of course. But look, well, this is one game out of 82. I know you even said earlier on the show, Drake, this ain't one eight out of 82, but 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 it really is in the grand scheme of things because, look, De'Aaron even said it a couple of weeks ago in a press conference. There's no bad teams in the playoffs. We might struggle against some of the bad teams, and we got yeah, we got we got shelled by the Mavs a couple of days ago, and that's 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 not a part of that. But our tendency has been to play up and down to our competition, and if we can do that, I don't care if we get into the play-in or the playoff. I don't care how we do it if we can perform it, 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 after the season's over, like we have against good teams in the past, then we're going to be okay. I'll, 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 I'll take your comments off the air, and I appreciate your time. Uh, uh, yeah, Jake, I appreciate you. All due respect, man. Come on, nah. now. Nah. nah, I ain't trying to. Nah. I'm not, nah, see, see, this is the problem with what Jake said, and I'm going to welcome in the high flyer here yeah. on Sacktail Sports 1140. Here's the problem with what Jake just said, high flyer and Jay. He's looking at it after the fact. Yeah. After. Well, if they get in and they go on a run and handle their business, then I'll be happy. Well, we'll all be happy then. I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about today. Jake, I'm talking about when I get up out of my bed tomorrow morning and have my cup of coffee, how am I going to be feeling? Am I going to be in the sixth seed or am I going to be in the eighth seed? And I'm with you, Jay. If you want to wait till June when the, the championship is handed out and we'll see where the Kings fall and, and that'll determine how you feel great. But in this moment, and high flyer, you giving me that look for this weekend? Nah, nah man. Nah, I, I'm not. Uh, uh. I, tonight's game, let's keep it real, will impact the energy we have in this building come Sunday. You lose tonight, you in eighth place. Now you got to get help from uh, Houston. You got to get help from the Warriors. High flyer. Forget all this wait until the season if they go on a run. Of course, ask Miami last year. Sure, they ha were happy with their season. Ask Boston. They weren't happy. We can all do that after the season. I'm saying in this moment, Jake, uh-uh, we need to win tonight, high flyer. Jay. <laughs> Jay. Jay. 
I am about to drop a tear right now, man. <laughs> Because I argued with this man right here wearing this nice De'Aaron Fox jersey yeah. and the headband. Yeah. We had a heated argument. I said, if the Kings do not finish in that sixth spot, it's a travesty for me. I said that too. And he told me that, no. well, we might want to match up better if we get in this oh, nice. I said, I said, I no, I yeah. no way, no how. I want this team to go into the playoffs legitimately to where they can say we made it and then whatever happens in the play-in happened. Right. But we need to be in that sixth spot. And I'm going to tell you why, KD. Tell me why. We got a kid named Sabonis who's doing Herculean things in this league. He's doing things that hasn't been done since the ABA days but can't get no respect. Because of how we played prior. Okay, we made it to the playoffs last year. We got a little bit of respect. We got coach of the year. We got two all-stars. We got the clutch player of the year. What Savonis is doing this year, if it's any other player, if he's wearing any other jersey, he's MVP right now. But they got to keep making those steps so they can earn that respect. They have to get top six, bro. Have, have to get to. top yeah. six. And You're right. Yeah. And, and here, go ahead, Jake. No, ahead. I was going to say, and, and, you know, I know me and Drapes have talked about this today to nauseam, yesterday to nauseam. And even I was the person that came on after they got smoked, like, you know, a, a, a batch of brisket Tuesday by the Dallas Mavericks. I came out and said, for Tuesday, I'm just going to scratch that one off and say it was a bad game and it was one of 82. Today, fellas, and a HT, you tell me how you feel. I think I know where you come from. I know how you approach games. Today is not one of 82. It's not. It's, it, it really isn't, fellas. And, you know, you were able to say one of 82. I've been done with those games like 10 days, 10 games ago. <laughs> I'm like, fellas, we cannot. You don't have any type of leverage for failure. We need this sixth spot. You have to step up. But you know what the Kings, man, the Kings have been guilty of this. We'll win two, we'll lose one. Yep. We'll win two, we'll lose one. Now, I will say this, and I really feel this way in my heart. I really feel like tonight you're going to see a different team out there because they know they backs are against the wall. Mm. They know how much – this game means now the next game they might take it off, but they right. know tonight. they know tonight is do or die. They need this one, so I'm expecting the Kings to come out here and be ready, be on fire. Let, let me ask you this, High Flyer, because we were talking uh, about how Game Six, 2012, LeBron James and the Heat on the road in Boston, trailing three two in the series. LeBron set the tone. Even before he hit the floor, yep. Norris Cole said in the locker room, nobody was talking to him. Like, who sets the tone for a game like tonight? Does it have to be De'Aaron? Yep, it has to be them too, and Domas. It has to be them too. They have they have to come out and be ready. Like right now, right now they got they should have their heads towards the locker room. Now you can have your music on, but I ain't talking, I ain't laughing. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, uh, he he and ha ha. It ain't time for that. You know, I just left from down there talking to Jason Kidd. Jay Kidd was like, hey, they came in here that first game. He said, man, they were locked in. He said, Luca and Kyrie Break both after. was locked in because they knew they had to have it. Mm. I'm, I got a bone to pick with you about that. Not right now. <laughs> Stick with us after the timeout. I got some words for you because I saw you. Yeah. I kept looking at you. Yep. I saw you over there. And I'll be quiet. My eyes were trained on you. But I'll be talking to you. <laughs> we got more with the high flyers to drive guys here on Sacktown Sports 1140. Tuesday, the Kings got worked by the Dallas Mavericks. Tonight, Sacramento looks for some payback. Pressure against Luke on a double team blitz. Here's a steal by Fox. The breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. Kings fans elated. Sacramento on top. Join us on Sacktown Sports for the Kings and Mavericks in a big time battle in the Western Conference. Get all the action starting at 7 on Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. No more mold. No more damage. No more outdated old bathroom. No more slipping and hurting. No more stress. Make your ordinary bathroom extraordinary for only $99 per month. New shower, new door, new tub. 
new wall, new anti-slip technology. Be stress-free. Call 800-976-8524. BCI Bath & Shower is made in America for the highest quality. Ask about our military and senior discounts. Your dream bathroom in as little as one day. First 50 callers save $1,500 on a never-clear glass-treated door. Call now for free premium color upgrades. 800-976-8524. Call BCI Bath & Shower, the leader in bathroom remodeling. Be smart, safe, and stay a step ahead of inflation with our interest-free financing options. Call 800-976-8524. Love your bathroom with free upgrades. Call 800-976-8524. 800-976-8524. Paid for by BCI Acrylic. Hello, I'm Frank Ockwell, Retirement Security Center for the weekly economic update. The American home buying experience is likely to change dramatically due to new rules on how realtor compensation is paid. Prior to the change, the commission was paid by the home seller, which covered the buyer's and seller's agent fees. The new rule now requires the buyer to pay the buyer's agent fees themselves. As fees are now more negotiable, realtor fees may reduce, but is home buying really going to become more affordable? Sellers could previously increase their asking price to cover the various fees, which could increase property values. Lowering property sales figures could possibly lower property tax revenue, which are based on sales prices. Lower compensation could lead to lower income tax receipts. With the buyer now covering this cost, Americans hoping to sell their home downsize and use some of those proceeds to cover retirement shortfalls could now see lower outcomes. Could the changes also be a roadblock for first-time home buyers? Those that can only afford small down payments are likely to feel the most pain. It could hurt homeowner diversity efforts as some demographics in the moderate to middle income may continue to lag compared to others. How might this affect you or your family? Please go to frankontheradio.com to schedule an appointment and watch for this receive market updates. I'm ready to help you start your journey so you can define your future. Frank Cockrell is a registered representative of Lincoln Financial Advisors Corporation, a broker dealer and member SIPC and registered investment advisor. Retirement security Centers is not an affiliate of Lincoln Financial Advisors. Contact tax relief helpers for details and restrictions. Attention, anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, or other hostile measures by the IRS. Call tax relief helpers right now at 800-906-5382. Tax relief helpers will provide you the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-906-5382 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, or other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-906-5382. 800-906-5382. 800-906-5382. So my home is also my office. And before I can focus, every room's got to be clean. That means tidying up and spraying my Febreze Air Mist. Ooh, that's fresh. Febreze Air Mist scents are all high quality. They fight any weird funk and they give my air an instant boost of freshness. So not only does my home smell good, I feel good too. After I Febreze, it's time to start my day. Breathe happy, so breathe, la 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 la. Progressive presents Precious Moments. Nothing beats driving cross country in our RV. This is so much fun, Dad. I don't even need to look at my phone. It's not the destination, it's, it's the, the journey. journey. Jinx! <laughs> the exchange you just heard didn't actually happen, but it could. Bundle your home and other vehicles with Progressive and you could use the savings to make sure that RV is always ready to hit the road. Who knows, your teenager might actually put down her phone for five minutes. It could happen. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states. KHTKAM Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studio. Your new home for 49ers football in the 916. Sacktown Sports. They do not know what Sacktown brings. When on the low, that's a Sacktown thing. Talking about us, it's a bounce out thing. Your flagship okay, station for the Bean Team, Sacktown Sports. Our boy Young Zell, like the Bean Sacramento, that's what we hope we're going to be doing later tonight. Friday night, the city of Sacramento, this place is going to be lit here inside G1C Golden One Center. Drapes J and the High Flyer himself, Henry Turner, joining us. All right, High Flyer. What's up, baby? I had my eyes on you, and I'm like, oh, High Flyer's in the building. <laughs> then all of a sudden, you saw J Kid across the way, and y'all started chopping it up. And I was like, man, on any other night, I'd be cool with it. On this night, I know that's your guy, man. But High Flyer. J Kid? Tonight? Let me tell you this. 
this, this is how the flyer get down. <laughs> now, J Kid is my dude. I'm talking about from diapers, my dude. We'll always have love for that dude, man. That's how we got that. We played together. We brought this thing up together. Mm. You know, okay. you know what I'm saying? When it was my time to go to the league, J Kid and GP and Brian Shaw was like, yo, bro, we're going to get you there. We're going to get you there. We're going to set you up, lobs, everything. Okay. We're getting you to the league. That's how we roll, right? But I will say this. When we get between these lines, mm. and me and J Kid have played, played against each other. Yeah. When we get between these lines, KD, I ain't let my mama beat me in a game of 21, bro. It ain't happening. <laughs> that's right. All right. Is this different? Yeah, that's how it should be. It, 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 it's, it's different levels to yep. this, bro. You know, I'm not between the lines no more, so it's all good. You know, I'm not out there competing. Right. You know, but J-Kid is straight love, man. Like I said, that's my dude. You know, when, when, when we was on those teams, bro, because I remember – you know, Brian Shaw was the only legitimate one that had been in the league. In the league. At yeah. The time. And then it was my time to come and I had free agency. And, you know, the Kings were looking at me. Golden State was looking. A couple of the teams looking. They was coming to the summer league. And Jay Kidd and Gary and, Gary and Brian was like, hey, bro, we're giving you the ball every time. He said, if they don't think you're the man. Oh, they're trying to get you paid. Of course. Huh? They of try, course. Yeah. He said, he said, if they don't think you can go now, by the time this game is over with, they signing they you for show. Mm. They did that for me. We did the exact same thing for Antonio Davis when he got rolling. We did the exact same thing for Greg Foster. We was all on the same squad. Dang. So whenever you had somebody to come look at you, it was Tone. Every time down, bro, we coming to you, you do your thing. Do your they, thing. After, after this game tonight, they loving you. And we all went to the league. Dang. Okay. All right. So that's family. Forgive bro. me then. That's forgive family. me. I apologize. That's I apologize. Family. Let me ask you this. And we just got word, no Sasha Vizankov tonight. Once Ooh. again, Sasha's out with the ankle. Mike Brown just made it official during his pregame press conference. All right. Uh, so no Sasha. Uh, Kevin Herter out for the season now. Uh, official. Mm. No Trey Lyle. So this Kings team is shorthand. Okay. So this is what we have to roll with. Yes. Okay. This is it. This is what we got. You know what? I, I, I will say this about Sasha. Right now, when you look at what Sasha could bring, to this team because hopefully Trey Lyles is coming back. Yep. You look and say, okay, what can Sasha bring to this team and where would he be able to fit in at? At this particular point of the year, KD, we don't have no time of saying, okay, we're trying to fit you in. We're trying to wait for you to get comfortable. We're trying to wait for you to get adequate in how we're playing. I think those, those, those games in that time is over with. Mm. So now the situation of even if he does come back, he's gonna be sitting on that bench. Right, right. He's going it's to hard be to work the there. guy in it, this it, late. Like in I the said, game. we don't have time. I mean, think about it. We talk about we gotta win tonight, bro. Yeah. Everything gotta be clicking tonight. We don't have time to have a dude on the floor like, oh, I forgot you don't know horns twist. My bad. Right, right. Oh, I forgot we running a new defense. You ain't been here, you ain't ran that defense yet. My bad. Ain't got time for that. We need some dudes who've been there, who've done that, who's been – so. I mean, we need Keon Ellis on the floor. Okay. All right? We need Davion Mitchell on the floor now. And think about it. No Kevin Herter. So, okay, now this is what we got. Now you guys are going to have to get solid. You know your minutes now. Davion, you get more. Right? Yep. Keon, you're getting more. Malik Monk, you're getting more because that's a spot to where coach don't have to worry about, okay, well, how I'm going to fit Kevin in and get his minutes. Right. It's right. a lot more minutes there to be dispersed. Right. Let me ask you this, though, because we, we're talking about big games and the mindset. And I said yesterday and today, and you sort of brought it up as well. If I'm Domas, if I'm De'Aaron Fox, like Foxy always signed in autographs after he shoot around. Tonight, I might not sign autographs. And I'm okay with that. Mm. If I'm... Domas usually play with the wife and kids on the side. Right. Tonight, I might not do that. You know what? What do you think about that? I'm like this. I'm. Like, it's, it's a catch-22 for me because you know what? Some guys do that because that's their routine, and you don't break routine. I don't care what type of game you got. Okay. Going. The routine. You right. Yes. Okay. You don't break routine. Mm -hmm. This is what I do. Now, I understand when you're saying a different mindset. You know, if I'm Domas right now, I'm looking at – Exactly who they have in guarding me for Dallas. If he ain't an all-star caliber player, 
I'm taking that as an insult. Really? I'm taking it as it. Now, De'Aaron, you're looking at two Herculean cats. Totally different. All right? You're looking at uh, 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 Luke the Don and Kyrie Irving. Okay? You know what? Those are your peers. But if I'm Sabonis, whoever is playing me on Dallas, right. I'm, cutting they through you. I'm cutting through you like table butter. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm just going summer- to put somebody else in. Your table butter in the summer, Bro, left out on the table out there in the summer. You, you know what? Under that little, uh, under that little glass with the, with the, with the, with the sauce <laughs> under, you know, yeah, the little cover yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And hey, Grandma had that yeah, yeah. 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 I, I'm cutting through <laughs> you. If I'm Harrison, I, I'm telling you, if I'm Harrison Barnes, if I'm Harrison Barnes, you know what? I know I've been going from Dallas for a while, and I've been, and, and 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 I've had some good games against y'all, but I'm about to show y'all. Uh, 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 Eight years ago, HB. Right, right. And here's the thing, too. If Kyrie and Luca are guarding me, I got to eat them like barbecue chicken, don't you? You got to go at those guys, right? You know what? I heard what you said, and that's one thousand percent correct. It's like, don't if if Kyrie is guarding me, and I'm not really the offensive guy. I'm an offensive guy tonight. Got to become an offensive. I'm guy, driving right? to yeah. the basket because I want to create contact. I want to get you in foul trouble. Mm-hmm. You're not going to be able to sit over in that corner and guard Keon Ellis and just stand and watch. Stand and watch. Yeah, you're not going to be able to sit in this corner and guard Harrison Barnes and just stand and watch. I'm going to make you work. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make you. We're going to run pick and rolls. We're going to do all. I'm back screening, doing all type of things to get you involved. So hopefully you get some fouls. See this jump shot? Your boy is ready. Oh, you're lefty, if, too. Uh, yeah, I'm a you're lefty. lefty, too. Hey, Sasha <laughs> ain't playing, but Mike, I'll be playing tonight. Hey, Jay, great stuff as always, man. We're back on Monday at 2 o'clock. Let's light the beam, Sacramento. A must win between the Kings and the Mavericks. Coming up next, it's game night. The high flyer, Scott Marsh, getting you ready for Kings basketball here on Sacktown Sports 1140. <laughs> It's Coach Doug Christie here to remind you if you want a deal that's a slam dunk, go.